Hello, friends and fellow adventurers, and welcome back to Roll for Damage. My name is Matt Brown, and I am your dungeon master for this afternoon. This is Ravnica, War of the Spark. Now, let me introduce you to this incredible, incredible cast beside me and around me, wherever they are on the overlay. Starting off first with Axel. How you doing? I'm good, thank you. My name is Axel Bevington. I'm an actor, makeup artist, and person here in Perth. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Bebbingto. You can find my makeup at Sundew Makeup. And you can also see me here on Roll for Damage. Awesome, awesome. George. Hey, guys, I'm George Goldfeder. You can find me at Sir SirGeorgeathy on Instagram and t Twitter. Uh, myself, Matt, and Benji are all from Split the Party. Follow us over there on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash Split the Party. We've got a Discord as well. We've got plenty of new content coming out. We've got some Geeks React videos and things like that, but not just that. We've got lots of Dungeons & Dragons content. Follow it if you enjoy this stream. Awesome. Rachel. Hello, my name is Rachel Fuka. I'm a writer, actor, and creative trash at large. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Rachel Fuka, and you can find the sci-fi book that I wrote, The Rings of Mars, right here on this very internet, if you feel like it. I don't hear Matt. I think Matt's muted himself. I Correct. bloody muted myself, didn't I, boys? And, and everybody else. What a moron. Oh, yeah. buddy, I'm a, I'm a silly, silly put, duffer. Put D's in chat if you think Matt's dumb. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> George does it first. Hey, Ben, you. how are you doing? How am I doing? I'm doing pretty well now. I can hear you. Doing better than me. I'm honest. Benji Napton. Sharp, it's my time to shine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Benji Napton, content creator for Split the Party. Um, George explained who I am pretty well. Find me on there. Find me on Instagram and Twitter at Ben Jack with a K at the end. There's an A in there. It's a weird way to pronounce it. I've got to spell it out for you, but I won't. That's me. And I'm and uh, I'm your Dungeon Master Matt Brown. Uh, you can find me the same place as they said. I've also got some Twitter links and things you can find in the chat. I'm also a professional Dungeon Master if you'd like to hire me for anything. Dungeon Master for Hire. Professional mic muter. Yeah, professional mic muter and everything. It's it's happens frequently. But we do have a special guest today. AJ, welcome to the game. You're normally you're normally helping us a bit more behind the curtain, but today you've you've come full on camera. And I see that you've actually used the exact same makeup you wear even on the outside of the game call. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. This is my um regular Sunday makeup. It's a skin condition. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hi, I'm AJ Winters. I'm a creative, usually producer on Roll for Damage, but I also have my own channel, Winters Tales, where I world build and uh, I'm going to create a world one step at a time, releasing videos every Sunday until I DM and host a campaign in said world next year. Next episode will be out today. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So we've got a couple more things to go through before we get into this afternoon's game. Rachel, can you take us through that one? Yes, uh, if you look at the bottom of the screen, you'll see a beautiful purple bar. This is the Spellfire bar. Every time you sub or donate to the channel or whatever, it goes towards filling up the bar. And when it is complete, something magical will happen. It could be magical good, it could be magical bad. It's always going to be magical chaos. You can also directly donate to help the team by giving us d6 bonuses or help the dungeon master if you want us to suffer and you can find all that info in the chat if you want to affect the game i like the idea of magical chaos so let's get some more of that going because today is a bit of yes. a bigger episode it's the penultimate episode of this series there's only six episodes the next one is the last one after this week but where did we leave off last time because players there's some shit going down if I'm going to be crass about it, like you guys are pretty much facing off against big dragon daddy himself. Oh, kid Kerrigan. Thank you for the raid. Hey. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Uh, hey, Nina. How you doing? Mm -hmm. How you doing? Love to see it. Love to see it. Hey, we're actually just recapping what happened last week with everyone. Uh, kid Kerrigan was actually the guest last week. So uh, if you want to see a little bit more of that, keep watching, keep keep coming in but players what happened last time perfect timing i'm a tree <laughs> a tree i'm a fucking crab but like how did that happen yeah, how did any I, of that happen i visited my mum 
I got her out of a really bad uh, work, like working relationship. And then I, com- I communed with, uh, with an ancient living tree. And then I became tree beard. Yeah, and the tree was like, Chaka's blah, I'll help you out there. Yeah, um, we, we went and played hacky sack with the hippie guild. Yep. And we had to go and uh, divert the ley line to get more mana power to the thousand storms device in the I don't Izzet. even know what that is. And that I love all these in- terms that you keep saying that make no sense to anyone. <laughs> yeah, it brought back all of the planeswalkers so that they could help us in this fight against Bolaz. So, yeah, so you are whole assing <laughs> your forces against Bolas and basically have, uh, through the actions of your last episode, have awakened the literal guild hall of the Selesnia called Vitu Ghazi. And uh, mm. we we did a bit of a, a, a Neon Selesnia's Treven Gellion with that. And Benji, playing Dalen, is now piloting the giant mech tree. And then... Nah. I need tree stats. You need tree stats. I gave you some tree stats. You should check the chats. So uh, I don't have them. uh, Lucy, you are you actually found a potion and and you turned yourself into your greatest creation, the category five kaiju crisis known as what was their name? Veronica. Her name is Veronica. Veronica, and I love her. All right. All right. Yeah, no, we keep saying the we keep saying the villain's name is Bol Ass because you know he is a bit of an ass. But no, his name's Nicole Bolus. Is there anything else from last week that we didn't cover? I'm a little mech cat. You did. Yeah, you trans- he's a little cat. Yeah, yeah. George felt left out, so Morris tried to transform into the mech cat. Except the 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 armor plating that uh, encompassed George's form basically shrunk him down, and now he's the size of his. Uh, pet slash homunculus assistant Florence. Mm. I'm an unstoppable force. Yes, absolutely. All right. So without a further ado, let's get back into the game itself. Ravnica is completely at war at the stage. You stand on the sidelines watching everyone start to pretty much charge into battle uh, against the forces of the Dreadhorde and Nico Bowler standing atop his citadel portal behind him well not portal behind him um, he's got like the swirling mass of magic and what looks to be like wisps of energy possibly like souls or some kind of essence around him and he kind of standing kind of in like a little uh, triangle symbol as his hands his eyes are glowing and all these things are kind of swirling into him but you'll see them start like absorbing into his body as well he also has summoned four incredibly large uh, incredibly powerful looking uh, undead, but these are like gargantuan in size, like almost as big as Bolas himself. Uh, and one of these has just shot down at the end of the last episode, the flying fortress that the uh, Boros Legion had launched as a counterattack. This thing was like incinerating hordes in the streets, uh, but suddenly with like the swift shot of one arrow penetrated straight through the whole structure. And now it is a burning mass tr- struggling not to impact and create a crater in the ground as it tries to land as smoothly as possible. But this thing is going down. What do the rest of you do? Well, that was probably going to be very useful in this battle. Yeah. Uh, shall we charge? <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got, you got, you got two of you in a tree, Mac. You've got uh, Nissa very kindly created like a big earth elemental named Ayasha to like carry anyone who wasn't large into battle as well. So Fiona and Morris, that'll be you. And uh, yeah, what, what, I guess, what, what do you want to do? I'm confused with Veronica, guys. I can feel her thoughts, and she wants to pinch. Oh, she wants to pinch I real want bad. To pinch. Like just like a huge arm just comes down, takes a scoop like a like a pick and mix out of a candy bar. Just a <laughs> bunch of blue little zombies and just goes I, 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 I look straight into the second head of your form, just like blah, 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 like little bubbles coming out of its mouth and. Uh, just crunching down. You feel very satisfied as these mm. zombies are just like falling one by one. Uh, the immense Who's form... like Tatsiki? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you get reminded of the Satsiki bag and you 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 get a bit nostalgic as you <laughs> as you chomp down on 
these uh, candy zombies. They are nothing to you at this point. You are so incredibly large. The force of your strikes breaks through this uh, mineral-like coating that these zombies have, once thought to be indestructible by all of you. Uh, Morris, in his cat form, is going to go, okay, well, uh, I'm obviously not going to be able to do too much right now, and he goes and, like, scurries up the the giant elemental. Yeah, you, you can see uh, Nissa's... Nissa, wait, Nissa's which one? one. Nissa's oh, okay. one or Dalen's? Okay, so Nissa's basically, like, piloting this mech, throwing, like, nature magic at anyone she can see at this stage. Uh, you see her just, like, encasing people in plants and just throwing it out there. Like, she'll summon, like, a bunch of woodland fake creatures just down a straight street and a stampede of animals, like ceratox, rhinos, whatever you can think of, will just rampage through the city just cleaning out as much as they can. Yeah, I take a rock off the elemental and I just like... <laughs> take it out of them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, is that a mandarin? <laughs> it was some kind of bouncy ball, I guess. Uh, can you roll a ranged attack? A yeah. mandarin attack? Yeah, you roll me. Roll for mandarin. They'll never see me. Uh, nine. They'll never see me coming. Uh, unfortunately for you, yeah, they didn't see you coming because you missed entirely and did not hit on target. Let that your, be a lesson to you. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, meow. maybe you're not used to your cat mech body yet because it's, it's you know, you got to, like, kind of volleyball it up and spike it down. Well, as you, how do you do this thing? As, yeah. <laughs> nah, you know, I just, you know, I don't really use things that need opposable thumbs. It's not no. something I do. I'm more like fly around like a sneaky jet cat. We'll work on this. Yeah. No, I think we need to, like, maybe sync up or something like that. I don't know how this works properly. Yeah. Dalen and Fiona. I'm going to bend it like Beckham, dude. I'm going to start kicking dudes. You want to just kick people like this, <clears throat> the treants in Lord of the Rings? Just, <clears throat> boom. Um, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you just walk. Are you, are you, like, trying to get towards the Citadel right now? Like, what's your plan of attack? Are you just, like, standing on the spot kicking anyone that comes near you? How are you I'm, doing it? I'm going to be... The, I want to be like in the vanguard, like in the front of it, like leading this charge. Oh, you're leading the charge of the big tree? I want to make I... a way for the troops. So I'm okay. just kicking oh, dudes, cool. squashing dudes, double fisting bam, people. Bam. All right, sweet, sweet. So you can absolutely do this. Um, can you roll just to see, you know, how effective you are at this? Roll, you know, a basic attack roll for your guy, like whatever whatever slam or, or something you've got. Ooh. Uh, 17, uh, 27. <laughs> 27, all right. Yeah, you just, you like, you launch a couple of guys. You just pick them up and fling them straight towards the Citadel. Uh, you'll see, like, any kind of, like, mages or archers these forces have um, just shoot the zombies down as they're coming. But you are indeed clearing a path. You hear, like, on your um, shoulder, you a Johnny. You hear yep. this, the, the, the tree scream out. <sighs> Nature and law will lead the way. Ooh, that's great. Have some inspiration. Oh, for that. I love that. You. That's a great line. <laughs> meanwhile, uh, so, uh, so actually, before I cut to a meanwhile, Ajani has clawed his ways up your shoulder and kind of just going like, Dalen, Dalen, are you in here? Um, Where are you? I'm trying. Oh, and he just kind of comes up and he pats you on the on the shoulder. He, he doesn't know how much it'll work, but he casts guidance on you. And he's like, you're doing a great job, Dalen. And you I'm can like hear it very tree. loud in your ear. <laughs> he's like, you're doing a great job. <laughs> Take it to Bolas if you can. Let King hit that dragon. I want to cast as much chaos on that man as possible. You know, last time I faced off with him, he just scattered me to the wind. We're going to scatter him. I... I want revenge. And uh, we cut the scene to a little bit more calm. Like the, the world is still like in complete chaos. There's still a war going on. But you see a, we, we cut to a woman walking through the street. She's got a purple corset on, a large flowing dress. It looks like her studded leather armor has been like sewn into this design. And she is covered in purple scarring magical tattoos that, that are basically like indented like into all of her face, arms and legs as they glow and bleed a little with, with, uh, with arcane fervor. Uh, Liliana Vess, 
walking down the streets of the chaos she has wrought. AJ, playing Liliana, what do you want to do? You walked through the portal. You saw the chaos going on. However, there's some things that you've taken into account when planning this invasion of Ravnica. As I am walking, I am making sure that anything I've brought with me isn't going into the buildings and attacking citizens or people. Okay. I am concentrating on harming as little as I can while still following what I've been told. So in terms of your orders then, you've been told to capture any uh, any planeswalkers that come your way. You know you know a bunch of them who you would target and who to send the dread horde against. However, with your with your current orders, you have found some loopholes. Is that what you're saying? Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's say you see some you see some of your dread horde, your your zombie lazatep coated mineral warriors about to you know they're walking up to a large group of women and children evacuating uh and they look like they're about to just cut them down blast them to pieces or otherwise you know just take their souls out of their body in some horrible fashion stop and uh your eyes glow with magical energy and they they kind of respond in kind they glow a little themselves with their eyes they lay down their weapons and they turn around waiting for orders. The mission is to find the planeswalkers. Onwards, you fools. They nod. They pick up their weapons in a, in a battle stance and they start marching away like good soldiers. The, the, the people sitting on the side of the road like look back up at you in horror and they're just like... What did you do? Keep yourselves safe. I will not have women and children harmed. Run, please. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, did you did you do this? Did you did you bring them here? I do what I'm told. You see, like, one of the kids just, like, cowering away from you. And she looks down at her child and she's like, you're a monster. And just, like, walks away into the building, like, calmly at this point. I walk on. Yep. Uh, So... Mm. At this point, you can see a couple of larger creatures like heading in your direction as well. You can see the the, the tree Vengelion mech uh, making their way over to Bolas's citadel, and you know this might be a bit of a troublesome task. This might be a bit of a job for something larger, something more, well, let's say, practically uh, appropriate for the size of this thing, and you think you have just the four uh, generals almost that could get this job done. Interesting. <laughs> All right. You four, with me. And uh, you start heading over towards that that, uh, mm-hmm. that that conflict. All right. Meanwhile, back at the battle, what's everyone doing? Just, ah! just, just, just going out at this point. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm still... I'm, I'm on top of this elemental. I'm like pointing at things to try and get it to attack. I'm working our way towards Bolus. Yeah. Or at least where we think Bolus is in the Citadel. All right. Well, you could, you don't even need to think where he is. He is la- He's like gargantuan, bigger than these four other creatures on top of the thing. He's standing atop, like just like a come at me kind of thing, standing still, letting spells just like wing off him. It looks like he's invulnerable to most low level magic or attacks, like straight up immune to this kind of damage. You see a lot of people just shooting like fireball goes and goes <laughs> on him. He's very clearly invulnerable to fire. Uh, All right, then that's what like I want. That. I yeah. want, I'm telling Nissa and the elemental that that's what we're doing. We're making a beeline for Bolas. All right. 
Uh, Fiona, how are you going? What, what's your plans in all this? Um, ooh. Okay, so are we as a party heading towards? Uh, it sounds like Dalen. Dalen's kind of making a pathway for the rest of you. Lucy's eating a bunch of people in the corner, uh, uh -huh. and Morris is on the, on the uh, other elemental. Cool. I'll, oh, yeah, and, I'll, oh, oh, sorry. I forgot to mention, uh, you, you had also talked to Klongo last yes. session as well, so you found him in a manhole, and you are, you know, there may be some Klongos in your future. Yay! Yeah. I don't even care what happens. Just bring on the Klongos and I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> um, please don't do anything bad. <laughs> I take that back. Hold on. Mr. I was, GM. I was going to write some notes. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I'll follow along. Can I hitch a ride on Dalen? <laughs> Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. You can, so you can see some... My little puny human legs aren't, like, you, you, scuttling along. You're like, to Dalen, up, up, up. Yeah, you see, like, a vine swinging <laughs> past, and maybe you can, like, use your nature magic to, like, swing it down, grow it a bit yeah. larger, and, and hook a ride. Yeah, you can George of the Jungle your way around using the tree Vangelion. Absolutely. So, um, at this point, you also see... A, he's a, it's like, he's like a hugely built man with like white, uh, no, sorry, like a silvery armor, uh, with gold trim. And he's got like a, a magical sural, which is like a, like a multi, multi-lashed whip emanating out from his, uh, from his hand, kind of driving back a bunch of this horde. He looks like he's having some trouble at this stage. Yes, it's the guy Benji's pointing is, to. He, is, <laughs> all right. Missa, quick, help that man. Uh, yeah, so you uh you go down and uh you you pretty much uh what what do you want to do, Morris? You, you I'm gonna climb like down and I'm gonna start batting some zombies. So you want to just go up as the cat and bat some zombies? Yeah. All right. So basically, uh, so you get down and you're face to face with this like huge kind of brute of a a, a brute of a warrior. What do you do? I uh, squaring off with this guy. I'm going to bat him. <laughs> I'm just going to attack him on arm. Make a bat attack. Yeah. But I'm going to I'm going to use the stats of my light hammer. Oh, come on. <laughs> 8. 8. You just like put your hand up and try to claw at him and he just catches your ha your your cat hand and just kind of turns it back on you as it as you struggle to uh to basically push back on it. And you see like in your HUD it's like boo, 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 boo. <laughs> uh, being like critical failure systems failing more uh, you hear Florence just being like boss we're not built for this boss <laughs> boss look this is really loud remind me to turn boop, this boop, down boop, next time boop, boop. my hand's breaking there boss create evasive maneuvers uh, you see you, when you second you hear like evasive maneuvers action you see like the hand kind of make the make the uh, the metal of the plating just like catch the hand instead and grow around it and you, you just have a thought to yourself, well, that's different. Mm, different. Uh, uh, it looks like the metal's like trying to grip onto this creature and like overlap its Lazatep indestructible body with the plating of the cat. Yeah, I'm going to try and absorb all of his minerals to grow. All right, roll an Arcana check. Let's see if this happens. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> 16, but I'm going to use my flash of genius to add what is now five. So Ooh, 21, like a, like a natural 21. Okay, so you you are, you are you, you see that like the, the metal has like made contact with this magical uh, Lazatep mineral coating and uh, Morris, uh, Florence just goes, hey boss, I think we can use this. Yes, do it. Okay, I'll see what happens. And uh, you see like a bunch of pipes just go straight onto this dude Yo. and start absorbing all of the Lazatep, starting to coat your body. Florence just goes, hey, I think we got more materials. Let's make a bigger mech. Yes. Let's make a bigger suit. Yes, create cat sword. <laughs> okay, well, just, you, just want a, you just want a sword? Yes. <laughs> Okay. A thousand uh, swords, if we can. Uh, you see, you see, uh, see Florence start turning into like a porcupine of swords, just like growing mm. out of the cat. Except uh, Florence now starts to grow to Morris's regular size, so he looks like um, he basically looks like a big porcupine man with a cat face, cat ears, and a cat tail. Oh, yeah. This is coming together. 
And uh, I'm now going to give you resistance to all damage. Nice. So, uh, what's everyone else doing? Bloodlust. Raging forward. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, so, Dalen, you start sweeping forward. Uh, you... One problem that you see is that without Bolus moving, these four massive zombies up the top, uh, one with the ibis head, one with the crocodile head, one with the snake head, and the last one with a cat's face, have all turned their attention towards you. Good. You see the cat basically draw an arrow, and this is a problem. This is the arrow that shot down that Parhelion in one hit. What do you try and do when you see this uh, happening? I am going to... Do like a Dragon Ball Z thing and charge my breath weapon, and they're gonna combine. All right, so uh, you see this arcane arrow just let fly out of this zombie cat straight at you. Uh, a, a hole, a hole in the tree, kind of like a, like a like a you know like a trunk, like in trees they have those holes. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Basically, <laughs> opens up wide, and then there's like green, like green swirling energy, and it's like. All right, so... Uh, the beam is made of squirrels. Can you roll... <laughs> so I'm going to roll an attack roll, but can you roll a contested, like... Have you got, like, a jet stream ability or, like, an arcana check or something? Uh, well, my breath weapon's meant to be, like, a, you, you, you're meant to save. I'll be a save, save throw? Yeah. All right, so let's say that this, uh, this creature has to save against it, so... Do, like, a contested wisdom or something. I don't know. You're the DM, Matt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So let's say, let, yeah, let's say it's contested wisdom. I'm trying to find the stat uh, I had for her. Um, can I use Dalen's wisdom? You can no, use Dalen. You can use whichever one you want. I all I need you to know is that the uh, this one has quite a lot of wisdom. <laughs> oh well, I got a fifteen. Okay. <laughs> With a plus ten on the mm. roll, fourteen. Oh, yeah! You blast the arrow straight back and it narrowly oh. misses the, uh, the the cat god as they, like, tumble out of the way. Um, Liliana, down on the ground, you can see that a pretty skillful maneuver has just occurred with this tree mech. You're thinking some more power may be needed to take this thing down. Lily? Sorry. <laughs> Completely space rose. No, it's all good. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to charge my breath weapon now. So uh, the, the, the elemental has basically just shot the arrow back at your at your cat god uh, zombie, and and you're thinking some more power may be needed or some assistance from the others. You can see that whoever's piloting this tree mech, maybe, maybe you've underestimated them a little bit. Hmm. Or maybe you could go deal with them yourself. It's up to you. Do you want me to roll damage, man? Uh, no, it's pretty much just avoiding the attack. If that okay, thing hit, okay. if that attack hits you, it would have just downed you. Okay. Oh, cool. I'm letting you know. <laughs> These Frustrated things... that a tree is getting in my way. Yeah. I step forward. Um, I'm you going have to direct cast... line of sight to this as well. Yeah, I'm going to cast. How far away am I from the tree? Hundred or hundred or so feet, like in range of a lot of your. Your, your uh, spells. Hmm. Um, I'm going to get closer. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to cast Power Word Stun. All right. Role play that for me. How do you do that? And how do you stun this tree elemental? Is this the... Yep, yep. I am going to speak in the language of the dead as I step forward. Mm -hmm. Throw up my hand and clench tighter as if I'm holding onto the bark myself. Like a, like a grasp. Uh, does power word stun affect Dalen's mech? Is this a is this 150 health or health lower thing? You're muted, Dalen. Yes. Sorry, everyone. Um, do I? Is there a condition that happens? Uh, is it a? Is it the paralyzed condition? What type of? Oh so, yeah, yeah. Give happens? us, give us a read of power word stun because yeah. that's a pretty high level spell. 
Uh, you speak a, a word of power that can overwhelm the mind of one creature you see within range, leaving it dumbfounded. If the target has 150 hit points or fewer, it is stunned. Do you have 150 hit points or fewer? I have 423 hit points. Oh, tell her. Hold on. No, no, no. Does Dalen have less? Then what? 150 hit you points. have less than 150 hit points. Yeah. Okay. Uh, because Dalen himself has less, I'm going to make this a saving throw instead of an outright power word stun. What's your charisma save DC, Liliana? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Uh, so your spell save DC. 19. All right, Dalen, charisma save 19. All right. I'll use my inspiration. Oh, yep, yep. So what'd you get? Well, I got a 15. Can I also I... give him guidance? Uh, no, he's but he's already got a guidance from Ajani. Oh, right. Uh, right, right well, right. it's 26. It's guidance 26. for ability checks anyway. True. I, I will let you know that the tree is immune to paralyze and being petrified, poison prone, restrained, unconscious. That's fair. That's why I gave you a destroy. save roll instead of a straight up stun because power word stun would just stun you similar to power word killer would just kill you. So, the, you, you're Liliana, you are shocked as the tree overcomes this effect. This person inside is very clearly powerful. They've not only withstood your spell, they have withstood your forces as well. Well, at least one of your trump card forces. Hmm. At this moment, you also see Jace and a few others running past uh, in a small group. They are running straight for the Citadel, straight for Bolas. Ah. Uh. I, seeing Jace and the others sort of wakes me slightly. And although my ego wants to crush the tree, I continue to make it look as though I am trying to defeat the tree. Yeah. So you're just like kind of like whittling the tree down at this point? Yeah. Um, right. Uh, can you cast me a... So, can you cast me anything you want in terms of that? Uh, you know, just to basically whittle down however you feel if you want to do that. Uh, but whatever else you'd like to do as well. Yeah, I'm going to cast Levitate on the tree. Levitate on the tree? Ooh. Yeah, I'm just going to hold him up 20 feet above just, the ground. Just so it can't hit? Like, just so just... it can't do anything. <laughs> Damn. Uh, how does that work? Is there a save associated with that? Uh, yes, it's a con save. All right. Uh, this might be another pass for the tree because the tree yeah. gets to make this con uh -huh. save. So that's that's Dalen. You want yeah. the trees? Yeah, modifier? tree, con save, tree yeah. modifier, yeah, for the con save. Um, what will be less than that? So it will be uh, a 13. 13. Does not, does not save. All right, the tree is held aloft. Liliana, you cast Levitate on the tree, and it's just enough to basically hold it in place as the tree kind of just tries to touch the ground. Dalen, you feel yourself held aloft by something, and uh, it holds you almost in place. Oh, can I use legendary actions, by the way? Yes, if you you've got them on your stack. Well, I choose to pass it. Okay, so uh, you, you go up, you start failing it, and then your tree just goes... <laughs> straight on the ground. But Lily, you're doing pretty much what is intended for your plans. It sounds like you're trying to just like, you know, hinder, do whatever for now. Yep. Uh, I keep playing the role that I've been given. Yeah. But in a way that isn't actually stopping them. Yeah. Because you know that with, with the amount of pressure that's on you, any betrayal would result in your immediate and gruesome death at the hands of this dragon. Like, when he came to you and your contract defaulted from the demons that you made a pact with, whoa, you did not think you would end up in his hands, but you are here. You are there, and you have to do what he says at this point. It's, there's just so much on the line for you, and, and someone with, you know, someone with your stature, someone with your age and your power, you can't just let yourself come to that, you know? Um, but 
Lucy, as the kaiju, what would you like to do? Uh, well, while, while Veronica is pinching up a storm, I'm yeah. going to go ahead and cast Crown of Stars on myself. Yes. Oh, what's that do? What's that do? Uh, basically, I get a crown of seven motes of light that orbit my head. And then as a bonus action, I can shoot them at people. And it's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I think I would like to shoot one at... Do I do I see this whole tomfoolery with my tree friend being levitated? Yes, yes. And you I, can, and you kind of can you can feel. Uh, if you want to do an arcana trick, you can maybe feel where the magic's coming from as well. Ooh, I There's will so do much that. chaos going on, you wouldn't be able to just see that, right? All right. Well, I will do an arcana check, and I got an eighteen. Oh yeah, you can you can source this necrotic magic sourcing from the lady you spot her. She is the one who led the Dread Horde through the portal. She's casting these spells. It looks like she's trying to mess with the mech. And you can also see her tattoos glowing with the same glow as every other zombie here. Like she's concentrating on an army-wide spell right now. Well, I'm going to have to shoot her, I guess. I'm going to yeah. fire off one of my stars right at her tattooed pretty face. All right. So... Uh, what, what do you do with that? Is that a spell save or is that an attack roll? How does that it's, work? It's a, oh, I want to say spells. It's a ranged spell attack is how okay, it so works. Okay, like so sp spell attacks are similar to your ranged attacks. Right. Uh, so I, I rolled and I got a 12. A 12. Does that be your AC, see. Lily? All right, you see it just go Ooh. and Damn Lily kind of just like waves it off with like a necrotic purple barrier, smashing this meteoric magic into your into yourself and uh she's on to you now you see the other kaiju it's taken direct look at you liliana she is uh the the pilot looks like to be kind of like molded and grown out of the host body yeah interesting do i see who she's working with uh it looks like can i spot looks everyone yeah, so uh, roll a perception check for me. Eight. Eight. You can't really spot everyone, but you can definitely assume that the big tree, the kaiju, and you felt some of your magic get sucked into another source just then as the, as the zombie fell over. Uh, no longer in your control. It basically like crumbled. Uh, you can suspect at least three of these sources are working together. Mind you, uh, with Jason and everybody else, it could be safely assumed that with your knowledge of the plane, the Guild Pack Squad and Ravnica's planeswalkers and civilians are all working together right now to try and overthrow yourself, well, your plans and uh, overall Bolas's plans. Okay. Yeah. What would you like to do? Um, I'm going to cast invisibility on myself. All right. And disappear into the dark shadows. All right. Lucy, you see this this lady, you throw a crown of uh, stars at her and uh, it just boom. And then she just waves her hand and her form disappears. Damn it. Fiona. Yes. Uh, swinging along the mech, you hear like a, Oi! Oi, what the fuck are you doing? And you look down and you can see like an injured, uh, an injured little person that you know uh, oh, from yeah. the Gruul clans yelling at you with a broken staff. Kind of like clutching his like lower half. So um, I have a question. Yes. So that... One of us killed one of those giant zombies, right? No. No? Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, one of the little oh, ones. No. So it's like one of the one regular of the, the one of the regular foot troops. Those big four are still out. And in fact, one of them is trying to like very much hurt Dalen's mech right now. You can see the big crocodile starting to take charge and run at it. But right now your focus looks to be uh this this uh this gruel clan warrior you recognize from a couple uh couple de uh wait, earlier today or yesterday even? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll just go like, oh, hello, darling. It's been a while. Don't call me darling, you fuck. That's quite rude. What are you doing and, uh, here? I, what do you mean what I'm doing here? Are you part of the farmers? 
Are you the are you the pharma just, troop? And uh, just sitting there, utterly frustrated that like you're only kind of like he's only he, he's expecting more grandeur and more of a standoff here. And he's yeah, just like, I'm on top of the tree. I'm just like yeah, yeah. Hi, love. It's like, what do you mean? What do you mean? You kicked me off my throne! Yeah, but we've got bigger problems right now. We can sort that out later, hun. Are you part of the farmers or are you part of the zombies? I'm part of getting my fucking revenge, mate. Come here. We're going on it. Well, no, I'm a bit busy right now, hun. You, you see him just like, <laughs> just like cast, like trying to cast like shillelagh on his club. And he's just like, fucking magic, fucking magic. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you so bad. Can I lean down to Dalen? Like, can we, can we move on a little bit? You just like walk away from Domri as you as yeah, you I'm leave. Like, all right, see you later, love. And he's just like, the raised ball will come for you all. all right. We'll raise this thing. All right, dear. And uh, you just kind of walk away from a screaming, petulant Domri. Uh, yeah. As as you see, like troops start to like chase after him. He, he ducks into like some alleyways. <laughs> Is he fighting on the um, outside? No. I think he's just fighting, dude. He's going through that kind of phase in his life where he's quite angry at the world. Yeah, he's, he's that's okay. very he's pissed off. I've been there before. Yeah. Um, Fiona has kids. She's not intimidated <laughs> by this guy. Yeah, no, he, he's she very much very much wanting a standoff that didn't happen just then. Uh, yeah. However, you, uh, uh, Fiona and Dalen, you have a large problem coming up straight at you. There's a large uh, crocodile-faced, lazatep-coated, blue zombie running at you with jaws outstretched, ready to bite is at this, you. Is this one of the big boys? One of the big ones is coming straight at you. You see behind them, the arrow is getting drawn once more. Okay, cool. Um, I will cast... Uh, how far away? A uh, couple hundred meters, but, you know... Okay, cool. If you prepare cast... an attack pretty easily, um... they'll, be in, they'll be in range. Morris, you're probably also in the vicinity well, here I'd, if you'd I'd like to do anything. I'd prefer if he wasn't within 30 feet, so I think I'll go for Absolute... chill touch. Absolutely not that close, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll go for chill touch. Which All is right. Really so uh, roll that. 24 to hit. 24, yeah, you you stretch out the hand in preparation and you, you try and slap this guy, this this uh, this zombie thing with, yeah. uh, with a big uh, chill touch. Cool. Uh, 19 damage, damage. 19 damage. They take eight damage so you know that this spell is only not uh it, it's only taking half damage in fact that this uh this laser tap coating is absorbing most of this power yeah. then you see um, morris morris just like run up as a big porcupine cat sorry what are you wanting to do Fiona? um so because it's an undead target yep it has disadvantage on attack rolls disadvantage yeah. on attack rolls excellent oh that's the good secondary effect isn't yes it? but um also right. I, I really specifically want this cold hand to just kind of like try and clamp this crocodile mouth shut oh, absolutely just, uh no. it might be a bit too large for that but oh, okay. uh i i like the flavor of it absolutely it the big hand kind of <laughs> uses its uh th that's the disadvantage let's say like it's trying to yeah. clamp the mouth shut as it comes up um as a reaction you see this god erupt a wave of necrotic energy and i need all i need all three of you to take a con save for me this life draining energy just erupts out of this uh, creature oh. as it howls back as it got hit. I'm assuming that's me as well. Yep. I got an eight. Oh. 22. All right. Also eight. Ooh. Uh, you all take, what you say, Dalen 22? Yep. Uh, you take half of this. So 27 necrotic damage, 13 for Dalen. Okay. 27. Um, everyone has temp 17 hit points yeah. from last session. Uh, this also reduces your maximum health by the same amount. Damn it. So how much was that? 27? 27 reduced health uh, necrotic damage. So you have to take your max health and bring it down by that much as well. Is he yep. within so, 60 feet of me? Uh, yes. Is his turn finished? Uh, it's not really in super turns, but that was a reaction. So this thing is going to try and now bite you. Uh, with disadvantage, so... It was, it was a, uh, it was a, it was a 15, but it's a natural one instead. Oh, so I can, I can give you him can a... You can do, do whatever you want in response. Yeah, I'll king hit him. <laughs> All right. All right. You come back and try to, try to beef it back with a big elemental hit. What do you do? Just 
big wind up and then bam and that's gonna be 21. all right yeah you deal a big hit to this thing morris uh sorry deal some damage as well but morris you're up uh yeah i i'm gonna run up to the the one that was just attacking fiona especially maybe the one that actually just released that magic and i'm just gonna Get my chrome kitty claws, and that's just, that's the that's the big crocodile one. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try and do some damage to it. I'm gonna start climbing up its back using my kitty claws. Yeah, uh, so it's it's 29 uh, king's cross damage. 29. Is that bludgeoning? Yeah. All right, it's gonna take half of that, but it you deal that damage. Um, and at that point, you see the arrow shoot through and try to hit you. Can you both, uh, Fiona, Morris, and Dalen, roll a deck save for me. I save. Excellent. Deck save. Uh, 15. Oh, natural 20. All right. So. Yeah, you take zero damage. Yeah. It, it looks like with every, every new attack, it's becoming harder and harder to avoid the arrow. Liliana and Lucy, what are you two doing? Well, I see my friends struggling a little bit, and I see the uh, the threat that is the guy with the arrow. So I'm going to try and cast blindness on that one. All yes. right. Uh, ba -ba -ba. So it's a it's a con save, I believe, for them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Con save. Con save of eighteen. Con save of eighteen. Uh, they will succeed that with a legendary action. Bam. Well, damn one. it! I guess I'm firing a star at it then! That's yeah! Fair. Since it's not blind! In response, you see the ibis-looking uh, tall creature start beelining, flying straight at you. Well, I don't love that. Mm. I do not love that. Yeah. Um, I get my pinch and claws ready, but I'm yep. still going to cast that star at the guy with the arrow. Yep. And snip, I snip. get a 14. So Why am I rolling it, like crap? You've already summoned this, haven't you? You're just shooting it off at this point? Yeah, yeah. It's a bonus action. All right. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh, with a 14, I think that's actually a miss. Give me a sec. Oh. Um, but, Lily, while I'm just looking this up, what do you want to do? I see the small cat climbing my oh, no. zombie friend. That does miss, Lucy. I'm going to cast Lightning Lure. Yep. And pull the cat towards me. All right. What's Lightning Lure do? So you, is this an attack roll or is this a saving throw? Uh, it is a saving throw. Okay. All right. Strength saving throw. Strength. 11. <laughs> it fails. You fail. All right. Uh, what level are you casting this at? Because higher levels, I will say you pull him further. Uh, second level. All right, I you get. I can pull him ten feet towards me. So I'll I'll just double triple it. The more spell slots. Okay. Uh, how far away am I from? Good sixty feet. I want to say. Okay, then I'm I'm gonna move closer as I do. Still invisible. Okay. Um. And yeah, I'm going to pull him directly into my hands. So six, so, how, what level's that then like? So that would be level three. Level three, yeah, so you get within 30 feet. You see this lightning, so you do break stealth when you do this. You lash a lightning whip straight out, wrapping around uh, Morris's form. And you see where this is coming from. You see this lady like roping you in, Morris, as you try to like use your jets to get away. Florence is just like, "We're not strong enough, boss. We we're not we're not hand to hand combatants." Yeah, it cuts to cuts to like my my head my heads up display, and I'm just like, "Dalen, Dalen, we've got to get rid of this woman, the one who looks like she slept on an arcane sweater. Get her." <laughs> At this point, uh, you do see as well. Bolus has stopped doing whatever he's doing, pointing a finger straight out at the tree mech and casting Circle of Death straight centered on you. Wish. <laughs> uh, you know, maybe. Uh, um, Morris also takes damage, by the way. Yes. How much? Uh, 1d8 lightning damage. You're also resistant to that. 
Nice. So Would am I listening to all damage well or just magic? Oh, just all, all. So he's resistant to the, the damage? He's resistant to the damage, but the effect you wanted is to pull him in, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, don't yeah. want to necessarily hurt him. Yeah. So what'd you get? Uh, six damage. All right. So, uh, you take six damage. Uh, as the circle of death gets cast there, um, Dalen and Fiona, uh, this is particularly for, for actually, uh, Dalen. Can mm -hmm. you make a con save against this effect as tree? Uh, I'm using my last legendary resistance to save. Okay. You still take half damage. Um, however... Uh, this is still 10. Still take 8d6 worth of necrotic damage, so that's 64 necrotic damage. Uh, you get the feeling if you did fail that, it was going to deal, like, catastrophic failure to your mech. In addition to that, you can actually feel this magic has started to poison your mech and weakening it by the second. Okay. Sorry, I just um, reread it. It's 4d8 damage because of my higher level. Yeah, just roll the other three. It's fine. Can I take a legendary action now? If you want, yeah. Yeah, I want to cast Elemental Pillar on on bloody... Uh, 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 Liliana? On AJ. <laughs> on, on Liliana. Oh, on Lily? Yeah, yeah, Lily. Yeah. yeah, yeah, go for it. Go for it. Uh, they will need to make a DC 16 deck save. All right, uh, Lily, you do also have legendary saves. You have three. I do such. Hey, you know who doesn't have legendary saves and is in her hands? <laughs> as an AOE spell comes to hit them? <laughs> Morris, make the save as well, please. I got a nine. All right. All right, cool. I'm going to roll some damage on you, Morris. <laughs> <laughs> of course. All right, hold on. Um, while this is happening, um, oh wait, does Fiona know that you're being poisoned? Your mech is being poisoned? Yeah, you can see, you can oh. see terrible, cool. terrible necrotic magic is overtaking this mech's body. You're is lucky. It Take specifically poisoned as an effect? No, no, this, this okay. seems to be like arcane, like magical poisoning. Okay, never mind then. You can roll, um, uh, I would let you roll a nature check or an arcana check to work out if this is something you could cure. Cool. I have a question, DM. Ooh, yep. that's a nat uh, 20, baby. Uh, yes, I'll get to you in a sec, uh, Lily. Um, mm. uh, this looks like this is a spreading mm. effect. You think that if this got to Dalen, mm. though, this could start corrupting Dalen himself. This is a terrible, terrible curse mm. that has been afflicted mm. into his his form, and you mm. think that this mech has has a lifespan right now. The lifespan is also mm. going to be, you know, it, it could be extended by Dalen sitting in the mech, but that would that would cause Dalen to corrupt as well, and his life force would effectively start getting, you know, warped into that of something undead and horrible. Okay, cool. Um, so, um, Dalen, honey, mm. dear, um, mm. I, I keep this in mind. You don't have to take this as, as a suggestion, but um, we might have to jump ship at some point. I, I feel like if this were to reach you, that would be very not good. My life for Avnika. Uh, well. Okay, up to you. I can't. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I just it sounded yeah. cool to me. <laughs> no, 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 that was that was very cool, dear. Very cool, dear. Dalen, you feel like a stabbing pain, like starting to overtake the the oh, lower my right. Athlete's foot. Yeah, the, the lower right side of your body. You have like mad athlete's foot creeping up from your foot upwards. It looks like some of the zombies are also starting to like stab into you, and you can Fuck. see this blue coating infecting your like magical tree veins or whatever. Shit. Yeah, it, it's it's looking a bit grim for that mech right now. Uh, Lucy, what are you doing? Oh, sorry, uh, sorry, AJ. Um, I would like to shield any damage coming towards the cat in my arms. Okay. I'm going to whisper down to Morris and just say, Dearie, I think you should help your friend before he's turned. Oh. And I'm going to launch the cat back at the tree mech. You just like, launch, you, you cast like catapult or something. Yeah, I'm gonna... You, you, you're, I mean, you're, you're one of those kind of wizards that 
you, uh, what, what was it? Was it? I can't remember what. Warlock. You're one of those warlocks that, you know, you have that repertoire of spells. Yeah, I'm going to make sure he lands softly, but make it look like I'm hurting him. Uh, uh, Morris, do you allow this to happen or do you want to take a save? I, I think, honestly, like because I do have mind reading powers and things, I think I can kind of get a sense of uh, her. Maybe, should I make like a an insight check? Insight probably. check would be yeah. fantastic, yeah, because you can also read surface level thoughts. Yeah. I'll do that. I got a, I got a seven, but I'm going <laughs> to use Flash of Genius. All right. What's it become? A, only 12. <laughs> okay, well, with that, I can let you, you I can let you not fail forward. I can give you base level information. It sounds like it sounds like she is she is methodical, she's planning, she is charismatic and cunning to the point of a little bit of arrogance, but she doesn't sound like she's trying to overtly trick you with this. This sounds like a sincere gesture gesture. <gasps> okay. Then then I will let it succeed. All right. Uh, we we allow the cat weapon to fire and you just spring outwards with necrotic energy and if unfathomable speed straight at the, the tree mech and you land just kind of like nine lives, like just claws into the mech at the oh, moment. Yeah, like land and like boom, unnecessary superhero landing. Cats always land on their feet. Uh, <laughs> oh, my <laughs> knees, my <laughs> knees. <laughs> my knees. <laughs> All right, Lucy, what do you do? All right, well, I, I'm tussling with this ibis head creature, aren't I? So yes. I am going to use, Veron sorry, Veronica is going to use the move Rumble to shake the earth. Ooh, okay, so so yeah. the, the creature is flying. It's not directly in melee with you. This thing looks a bit lankier, just, just to let you know. <sighs> okay, well, shake the earth isn't going to do any good on a okay, flying it's like, thing. It's like using so... dig on a flying Pokemon. When yeah, I just, I, yeah, yeah, you're about to use Earthquake on a flying type. It's not going to really be effective. Damn it. It's fine. It's fine. I can rumble later. I'm going to try That's and right. catch him with my cl with my claws in that case and snip him in half. Do you want to, like, prepare this? Is that what you're telling, you're telling me? Yeah. He's flying towards me. I'm ready in the claws. <laughs> All right. Let's go, baby. Um, you snip, actually snip. You actually see this thing, like, stop, like, probably about 60 feet away from you, point its giant staff at you, and cast Dispel Magic. Oh no. No! That sucks! Fail, 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 fail! Uh, so this is gonna be at ninth level as well. Oof. Oh my this, gosh! This thing is going for it. This wants Whoa, to this wants waste. you to just stop existing as your form. Not uh, my magic. I uh we uh g fucking so I gave you an item that was completely homebrew, and I, I have no idea what this DC is that it needs to make, but it's it's a, it'll be a 19 plus something or other. Ooh. Okay. DM's time. Okay, friends, what do you reckon? What do you reckon this should be? Realistically, without the without the bias, what do you reckon? What are you talking Giant about? Class. As in, what kind of a save? On. What kind of save should this be? Because it's like it's going to be an Arcana check made by the uh, the bird thing uh, to dispel this effect. Because if you so the way the way that dispel magic works is if it's the same level, it just dispels. But this is an item we kind of just haphazardly made, so. Um, either like an intelligence save or constitution as like concentration almost save. My vote's for intelligence, but totally yeah. unbiased. Yeah, I reasons. think it should be an opposed it'll, arcana check. It'll be, okay, check. let's let's say opposed arcana. Okay, yeah. okay. All right, let's do that. Yeah, and Lucy. So we're both advantage. rolling arcana? Excellent, because I'm fucking good at that. All right, all right. Oh, check and stat block, that's bad for you. Nice. Go on. <laughs> I've got 24. Okay. Uh, unless I get a nat one, you fail. Oh. I got a nine, so that's a thirty-five. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You feel you feel the magic start just like just shrinking your form. You feel Veronica be like, like just shrinking back into you until it's nothing but a tiny little crab in your arms. It's Veronica is Veronica. still alive bit cradling in your arms as you fall out of the sky you have been dispelled you fall hard onto the ground uh let's say you take i don't know morris is like i'll catch you but i'm like 120 feet away. You, 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 take, you take 14 bludgeoning damage as you hit the ground and you cradle crying in your arms thank god you've saved veronica but they are no longer the giant pet baby you wanted to have veronica. this massive ibis headed uh, zombie god creature looming over you as you crouch 
and fetal position on the ground, crying, clutching your precious, precious Veronica. You dick! You don't even, it doesn't, it doesn't say a goddamn word. It just, it stays stoic and it now leaves the staff like pointed straight at you. What's everyone else doing? Uh, I'm going to talk to Dalen and say, this whole fight, I believe it is a farce. Liliana, the, the glowy tattoo lady. I go kill her. She does not mean us harm. Oh. I fear this is just a distraction to keep us all occupied. This is a pretty painful distraction. Yes. Ow. <laughs> There's blue shit on my feet. Well, I mean, you're... F- one minute, and I slam attack with my last legendary action, the the, the, the crocodile. So say again? I use my last legendary action because it hasn't been my turn yet, so I can't reset him. Um, yep. And I'll slam attack the crocodile, hit him right across the snout. All right. Uh, make that attack roll for me. 15. <sighs> okay, so... Uh, uh, this will miss, but the, the, basically it starts trying to wrestle with you, and it's going to cast that... Uh, wrestle? It's going to try and do that wave again, but it's going to center it straight from its mouth right into your form, so it'll only affect uh, Dalen's mech. So another con save for me. It looks like this could be the, the, the uh, catalyst for that corruption, though. Uh, 21. 21. Ah, uh, give me a sec. I think you actually pass. DC 19, you pass. Yeah. So, uh, so you only take instead, you know, the damage isn't as much of it, but the, the, the form, you know, doesn't completely crumble. You mm-hmm. definitely have enough time to get out without taking any of your own damage. The tree starts withering and rotting from the inside out as your core and your your cockpit basically starts to melt away into like a viscous sludge. Your poor cockpit. Can I commune with uh, V2 Gazi real quick? Yeah, yeah. I thank you for what the power you have given me. I regret nothing pairing with you. I will plant many trees. Plant. (laughs) You should plant us once more. And you can see like, just like a little leaf, just go. Fucking grab it, put it inside. And I, and I say a prayer and I I basically shoot out. (laughs) Yeah. So uh, you, you press the, you press the spring leaf eject button. It just opens a hatch and you just go straight out. And uh, a little bit. Where are you going? My tree voice. (laughs) Yeah, you could still do it if you want. Wait, no, maybe, maybe, out. <laughs> maybe Dalen can like just just pretend to do it. He's like, I miss being in the tree. No. Uh, <laughs> and you get some you get some like big banana leaves to like parachute your way down. Is like Fortnite to the great? Uh, yeah, why not? I know Ben's been playing a lot of Fortnite. Here you go, buddy. Um, so um, you you land on the ground. Oh, Fiona, jump! <laughs> um, can I can I see that this ibis creature is about to attack Lucy again? Absolutely, yeah. Cool. This thing I'm is gonna... like hovering above, pointing this big staff down at I her. I will wild shape into a giant eagle. Into a giant eagle? Yeah. Yep. Nice. Just because I like the idea of being a giant eagle. Um, All right. And then I will attack this ibis bro. Go for Bird it. Bird fight! Bird <laughs> fight. Yes. Um... So I get oh, multi attack. Okay, cool, 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 cool. What you got? What you got? What you got? Um, well, that's an eight to hit. An eight? That's you. Basically, you, you, it just wings off the creature. That that is a hard miss. Just a boom, straight off. Alrighty, let's try the other one. Well, that's a nat one. Nat one. I'm starting to give up on this eagle thing. So, uh, uh. You see this thing just like try to bat you away with the staff. It doesn't actually try to attack you though, because um, it, it, it definitely has the attention on the one who created the kaiju. Uh, Lily, do you want to do anything right now? Oh no. Um... I can come back if you want. Yeah, come back to me. I don't. I'm so lost because I have two motives. 
That's fair. No, no, that's fair. Uh, you have a very good, very big conflict of interest happening within your uh, person right now. Morris, do you want to do anything right now? Yeah, we are completely overwhelmed. I think we need to retreat. You hear, you hear like, you, you, you see Jason and a few others like casting like big illusion spells and it looks like they have also started struggling here as well. They are, they are getting as many people out and evacuating from this as possible right now. Like they've created big walls to look like buildings that look real. Uh, they create like magical barriers. There's a couple of the mages in there making like, uh, like big, uh, hard light constructs out of like big polygraphic, uh, panels. Yeah, uh, yeah. I start using message to like point to Lucy and Dalen and Fiona and everyone, and I just start saying, "Protect her, you can, but we need to get out." You hear you hear Bolus like roar from the background and and just laugh as as he sees the rest of you kind of just uh, making your way back into safer territory. Okay. Well, um, for flavor, can I scoop up um, maybe Lucy and Dalen because they'd be closest to me? Absolutely. My eagle claws. Yeah. I am going to cast Phantom Steed mm -hmm. and create sort of a giant velociraptor looking Ooh. thing. Ooh, cool. I'm going to... <sighs> Cassowary. I, I, maybe I'll have to roll a deception check, but I'm going to charge at whoever I see, probably the cat or the one that's in the fetal position. I'm going to charge at them as though I'm attacking them and, like, lift them up with my hand. Um, but really, I'm saving them. Okay. You so, tell me what I need to do for that. <laughs> uh, easiest one is a charisma check using your arcana. So arcana using charisma. Uh, for the deception or...? Uh, yeah, no, yeah, yes, yes, because it's more of a... Um, it's not you talking. It's more of a magical effect. Yeah. Yeah. So... The, so I've cast the steed, so that yep. exists. Oh yeah, so the right steed there. exists. That that happens. You get all of that. Yes. So it's the the lying. The, the act of the act of the deception yeah, okay. is where I want the check. Yes. So charisma. Ooh, that's terrible. Mhm. Mm well, I rolled an eight. Rolled an eight, wasn't that great, but they can they can use their gut feelings to work it out. Uh, describe how you do it again. So I'm not deceiving them. I'm trying to deceive Bolas. So oh, you want to you want to you want a whole ass deceive Bolas? Okay, so um, yeah, yeah, no, you you can do that. I won't tell you the result then. You can work that out later. No. Okay. Uh, your tattoos don't start burning this second though. Okay, cool. So uh, I have the cat in my grasp and yep. I'm charging like away, but it looks like I'm trying to hurt him when I'm not. Oh, All right, yeah, you, you, grab, you grab him by the neck, but it's kind of like a loose grasp and you're kind of <laughs> leading that as the magic. Like, Florence is like, oh, I don't feel so bad about this, but it's scary as hell. The great <laughs> damage I'm being dealt right now. Um, you you catch up with Jace and Nassius and the others. Nassius just goes, What's happening? We're losing badly. I thought the mechs were the things that were going to get it done. It did not work aboard. No, I'm in front of you. Uh, run, run faster. Run faster. Oh, okay, yes. Yes, okay. Uh, he casts Fly on himself and a few others, and uh, you start heading into safer territory. Uh, you get, you have like a moment uh, of, of calm as everyone's kind of like, Jace is looking at Liliana with like a burning hatred in his mm -hmm. eyes. Nissa and a few others too, um, you see, you do see a couple people just going, why did you invite her of all people on the retreat? Oh, please, we used to be friends. We're never friends. You lied to me every chance you got. We fought bowlers together. We had things together. Is that that meant nothing to you? Obviously, you've just destroyed half of this fucking plane. Oh, they were a thing. Yes, bumping uglies. Mm. I can't believe you. 
please. You think I would do this by choice? I think you have something to gain from this, if you anything. Have so little faith in me. I wanted to, I, at first I wanted to believe, I wanted to believe there was still good in you. I just, I really did, Lily. But this is, this is too much. You're killing everyone around you. Do you, do you actually, do you know how many people? Because I have to count. I, I feel in Ravnica how many people are dying because of you. And you just, you just laugh and smile and it goes away like it doesn't happen. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. You can leave this place. But some of us don't want to. I'm trying my best. But you better start trying a bit harder because the only reason you're even alive right now is because, well, a couple people here are scared of you. I know better. You can you could leave at any point. And yet I'm not. Read between the lines. You see Gideon kind of, uh, the, 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 the man with the, the sorrel weapon, uh, Gideon, comes up and puts a hand on Jace's shoulder. Jace kind of does that Arthur meme where he clutches his fist. He walks away. <laughs> and uh, he's like, I'm sorry for any anything that Jace has said. I... I held belief, Lily. And the others, you have fought so well. Thank you. you you've done feats of strength I never would have thought possible for a Ravnican. Everyone this underestimates is just us. Heartbroken, and that clouds judgment. But he's right. Yes. I have um, killed. At, you, you, see, you see Gideon get a little bit awkward there. He's like, um, he did tell you of his adventures elsewhere after our defeat? No? No. Uh, well, it's a good thing. Look, I'm sure you're an adult. I'm sure you've moved on at this point, but he has been talking a lot about Vraska lately. Right. Yeah. Oh. Um, I will use my giant eagle wings to slightly shield Lucy and Damon away from her, just to like a just in case. Don't worry, everyone. You have my auras. Oh, well, this is porkwood. Pork really? porkwood. Yeah, my cat. Yes, this is very. Oh. It's very porkwood. Oh. It's it's. Is this something we really should be talking about right now? I mean, you're all just from a farm, aren't you? Sounds like. It's like Dawson's Creek or something out there. So much drama. It's like One Tree Hill. It's like the OC. It is a One Tree Hill out there, I assume. If he chooses Raska over someone like me, then he's the fool. I turn away. So, what do we do here? I have a method in which if we can actually get to Bolus, I can strike him down. I have a blade that has said that we can do something of the sort. However... We have just proven ourselves ineffective against his forces. No thanks to people present. Does Bolas know you have this blade? I would hope not, but at this point I would not be surprised if he did. Show it to me. And he pulls out this blade, and it, it, it's, it's, it looks fairly regular, except it's completely ebony black, and it almost looks serrated. Uh, and then you kind of like look closer again, and it's got like this... You don't know what it is, but it's like this this magic emanating from it very softly. Uh, and it, it looks like the blade's metal kind of shifts and weaves with it as it as it uh, as it kind of waves through the air. He's like, this is called the dark blade. On Dominaria, we thought we could build this. Uh, it's well, after we slayed Liliana's last contract demon, we stole it. We think it can at least weaken him or stop him for good. Uh, also, who is this that I'm talking to? This, this is Gideon. Gideon. This is Gideon. It's Gideon right Jura. He's, he's, well, he's one of the, you know, effectively you just call him the Scooby-Doo Super Friends, whatever collective <laughs> bloody Magic the Gathering fun group of planeswalkers. One of Nissa's friends, one of Jace's friends, one of yeah. Liliana's uh, work associates. I 
May I? May I inspect the dark blade? You may. Nia hands it to you. He seems very trusting. Yes, fool. <laughs> I, I, I run out the door with it. No, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm actually, I've got an idea. I think I want to try and make replicas of this blade, but like just ones that look like it. Okay. Uh, you can absolutely do that with a little bit of time. It seems like you have bought some time in this whole situation right now. Um, you know that Lily, uh, if if uh, you know that Liliana's pretty much got direct control over the over the the zombie army. So you know, with some coaxing, maybe she could steer them away from any hideouts you need to visit. I have an idea, everyone. If I am to create replicas of this blade. Nicol Bolas will have no idea who it is that's coming for him. If I give these to everyone, he will have no idea who to target. Interesting tactic. Fantastic. All we need to do, all we need to do is get the person with the real blade to Bolas and make sure that no matter what, he is able, or she is able, <laughs> or they, is able to stab them and end this whole thing. What if we okay. all launched a simultaneous assault and stabbed with each blade at once? That would be ideal. I would be able to distract most of the hordes. Liliana, what are those giant zombification or what are those giant zombies? What are they? Are they powerful? Very. Are they the ones from Amon Ket? Because I think I can see Oketra among them. Indeed. <sighs> Bolas has the gods of another plane on his side. Fortunately, Liliana might be able to control them, but as it stands, he has four as his last and first defense. You have hope until he realizes I'm behind it. He will kill me, and therefore you are lost. And we will not let that happen. As long as I live. You have no guarantees. I have hope. Let's hope that's enough. I, I don't want to be a bother. Uh, Nasia starts walking up. Um, oh. this, is, this is great, but um, I'm getting a bit of a uh, buzz on the, uh, the old Sendy, Sendy stone. And um, I think you might want to hear this, everyone. So I'll put it on speaker, if you like. Oh, yeah, okay. Yes. Um, uh, uh, now, Dalen, don't worry. He, he says he's sorry, but he's got an important message for you. And uh, you hear the following. I'm just, I'm just going to play it through here because, it, you know, it'll sound like a shitty phone message. All right, fuckers. Ravnica? Bad right now. Not the sexy bad. The bad bad. Heard you guys was looking to find some allies, and I think I have one of the biggest ones around. Rakdos. Cool. Man himself. The problem is he's been sleeping for so long, but I got some ideas how to wake him up. I don't want to put those ideas into effect myself because he'll probably fucking stop me. Not in the sexy way. Well, kind of in the sexy <laughs> way, but I'll be dead. I got shit to do. All you gotta do is convince him it's for the good of the Ravnica and play, you know, his favorite music while you do it. Basically, you gotta sing him a song. Anyway, super sorry for, you know, betraying all you guys again, except, of course, for you, Dalen, because fuck you, Dalen. Otherwise, that we'll see you suckers later. Krenko out. I'm gonna arrest that motherfucker so hard and so fast if we live through this. So, ring, 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 Cranko leaves a voicemail message. Thank you, Aram, for doing that so last minute. Thank you, Aram. I, I really appreciate that. Anyway. Thank you, Aram, but fuck you, Cranko. <laughs> All right, so Aram just also gifted a D6 inspiration. Who do you want that for, by the way? Just let us know. Um, but uh, Cranko just, just gives you a little heads up that uh, he thinks that that uh, the big demon daddy himself of the Rakdos clan and the Rakdos, Rakdos cult could be of use to you. George um, has the D6. Yeah. <laughs> oh, George, you get a D6. I will take that. Thank All you. All right. So with that information, 
We're going to cut to a break because oh, we're around what? the halfway Ooh. mark. Oh my what God. time is it? Uh, no. It's 2.30. I know, right? It's a good one today. I mean, it's always a good one, but it's quick today. But yeah, we're going to cut to a break. Uh, we're going to come back and, and continue Ravnica War of the Spark, episode five, after these, you know, short, non-existent messengers because we don't have ads. <laughs> <laughs> How wrong you are, Matthew. What is I, Sir Barbius? The tales of my death are grievously exaggerated. I have sponsored today's episode with my divine presence, of course, dear. Today I will be sharing with you poetry that I wrote on my long and arduous journey to the very bush. <coughs> a man stood atop a hill, supple lemons in his hand. He touched a great rainbow in the sky, and then he quacked. Well, that's all for today, folks, and remember, they're in the trees. And they're always watching you. All right, we are back to Ravnica, War of the Spark. I am Mad Brown. We've got a bloody bunch of bloody good players here. Uh, we've just had a message, haven't we? What just happened? F friends Cranko. and fellow players. Cranko yes. sent us a message and said that we should get Rakdos involved. He did. He did. And uh, we've had to retreat a little bit. There was a big battle going on, and uh, it, it looked to be not it, it looked to be not going your way overall. Mm. Bit of a yeah, tactical seems, retreat. Seems Liliana was trying to at least keep us at bay, but she didn't want to hurt us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, going from that point onwards, what would you like to do? Nasius has hung up the sending stone and gone. Well, I don't want to go down there so uh consider this your final mission at the very least for now bullshit you're coming Nasus. no no <laughs> yes I you've been I... with us from the beginning and we've we end this as a team and as a family yeah if we die you die yes yeah. <laughs> see i liked what dalen was saying and then morris started talking and i suddenly didn't like it again morris um, is I like a salty kind of... plum he's like an acquired taste i don't like salty plums can i just like place kind of like look like i'm about to pick him up with my claw like uh yes good bird good bird yep 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 nastiest yep. don't be a nasty ass come with us everyone's got ass puns today <laughs> what's going on you just got to <laughs> i know you had assless chaps on the other day actually dating you might want to wear those i'll go get them yes you wash them yes yes and he uh, he runs off somewhere to go to go you know make some assless chap pants. But you are once again going into Rakdos territory by the sounds of it. Assless Alrighty. chaps. I like how my buns feel within the, the, the cropping, the outcroppings. Welcome to Ravnica, Liliana. Welcome to Ravnica. <laughs> well, this should be rather Didn't Didn't someone say you were connected? Yes. Didn't someone say you were connected to demons or something, Tattoo Lady? Connected loosely. No. Is there something wrong with your hand? Definitely not from demons of this plane. None of them lived on Ravnica. Just because if you've got experience with demons, maybe you should also come. Because I personally have never spoken to a demon and wouldn't know the first thing about convincing one to help us. I can Ready? help as best that I can. I've got the chaps. Bring him here. Thank you. Yes. Uh, Krenko, Krenko did say something about... Here you go. Um, Krenko did say something about playing him some some tunes or something because this demon, he's Rakdos and the whole cult's based around him and they're all performers. So is it... Is, uh, I don't have any musical talent. Perhaps we'll have to sneak in as an undercover ska band. Maybe. Does he even like that kind of music? Who doesn't? It's the best type of music. Yes. Don't question this, Nassius. Everyone uh, knows ska is superior. Yes, but I, I, you know, I definitely prefer a bit more of an EDM kind of vibe, you know? <laughs> well, what do you all think? Do what, should we play some EDM or should we play some, what's it called, ska? Ska. I want some ska. Morris looks at you all. Can you, you play either? That mean we're playing, we're doing it now? 
No, well, you don't have to do this. No, 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 no. So as in like, when, when we get down there, what would you like to play? I've been thinking of this new song. It's all I've got is one word. Somebody. But I think that we'll lead somewhere with it. Yeah, I think I think we might um, we might never see the light of day again from Rakdos if we play that one. No, it's definitely happening. Okay. <laughs> well, fuck it. Let's let's give it a go. I guess. I feel like with the Rakdos, we can't be upbeat forever. Yes, he is a he is a sadistic demon after all. Mm. Yes, and you can't. I, so I guess maybe a, a, a bass drop wouldn't exactly help as much either, because he might think it's like a someone attacking him. I feel like we have really pressing matters. This conversation. Yes, what yes, 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 yes. Good, good. Don't, don't, don't. What's all right? I'll, um, well, it will miss um Miss Vess. Liliana's fine. Ah, uh, yep. Um. Would you mind accompanying us and letting us know your experience with the de- demons? I never Please. thought if it that, that would be my history and my advantage, but sure. Yes. Um, yes. Is it me or is anyone else terrified of her, but also a little bit interested? I run my hand along his cheek. Oh, oh. No, she's scary in a hot way. No, I agree. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> That's just luck, you, Lily. Can I call Another... you that? Can we be friends? Do you have a last name? Yes. I do. But you'll That's... have to be a lot more friendly before I give it to you. Well, I'd rather call you <laughs> Liz, your last name. First name's fine for now. No problem, Miss Liliana. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's all there. So you you head down to the uh, you head as quick as you can down to the gore house. How, that how many people can a giant eagle carry? Uh, I don't care. So all of you. Cool, everyone. <laughs> Off we go. Oh uh, yeah. So so yeah. You all you all you all get up on the on the giant eagle and uh, fly out uh, and over to the Rakdos territory. Their guild hall is called the Gore House, and it's basically uh, the opening of a big circus tent that leads into a demonic pit. Oh, what the fuck all- is that smell? <laughs> Uh, I think it might be. I think it might be some of their leftover performances. <laughs> um, before we left, I just unclasped my cloak to reveal more of my bodice and made eyes at Jace before we took off. Oh. Jace, like Jace, like looks over and like you see him like look away really quick, kind of look back, but his cheeks are now red. He's blushing a little bit. I I remain like dead set looking at his eyes. I'm just like. Jace, Lord Jace. Yes. My king. <laughs> <laughs> that time has passed. I am. No, no. I have bit. I have. I have larger duties at hand. And he, he like walks away. <laughs> yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll come out of wild shape. I'm back to Fiona. If we're okay. Back so. Back to territory. It appears my mood has failed. So uh, you you head over to the Gore House, the Rector's Guild Hall. You start heading down. Basically, like this elevator music starts playing, and you reach the like lower levels of this uh, whole area. It's almost like a little a little performance hall, except demons and devils and hellish creatures are everywhere and they you see chains swinging uh uh sorry uh you see chains swinging demons kind of uh talking and going around and you see almost like a little receptionist desk there as you as you pull up to almost a box office looking looking uh part of the cave i want to say it's like it is very much a cave at this point what would you like to do lucy go talk to the receptionist and get us in uh, uh, okay I, I, sure yeah um, you use those I'll moves sister you. i believe in you lucy uh, and I, I tap you on the shoulder and give you guidance 
Would you would you like me to accompany you, dear? Thank you. Yes, I'll go with Lucy. Yeah. <laughs> I remain with the boys. A knock knock. Uh, you see like the little the little door open. They're just like, what do you want? <laughs> Hi. There's like a there's like we... a there's like a uh, a bone naga behind the desk. Uh, we've come to play some music for your boss. I don't see you on the performance roster. Are you? Um, what's your name? Lucy Knight. I'm a, I'm a surprise special guest. That's why I'm not on the roster. You do know Rakdos hasn't been alive for, well, awake for a total of two years now. He's not taking appointments. Well, that's why we haven't got an appointment. Mm-hmm. Look, either he sleeps through it or he wakes up and loves it. It's a win-win. Nobody's ever done a that. Neutral okay. outcome. It's your own funeral. You. Go down oh, to the I stage. Set yourselves up. And pray you don't wake him up with music he don't like. <laughs> I'll be <Nifty>. watching. <laughs> and do you just leave at that point? <clears throat> Wonderful. I can't get no music. Off okay. All right. So you head down. And uh, what, what's your game plan here? Nassius is very nervous. He's never been in Rakdos territory this deep. Uh, it stopped being a. It's it, there's, it's very much like a concert hall here, uh, and in in the center of the room, there's a massive pit, and uh, you can see sleeping at the bottom of the pit, there is a gargantuan sized demon with like fire coming out of his skull like mouth, uh, and and huge horns, and right beside the pit, there is a giant scythe made of like cracked earth blades and what looks to be like lava pulsing between uh the like like you know blade edges how Do you tall think those is are that european okay, gang. how tall is nasius medium size so about 6 foot okay i just put a calming hand on huh? his head yes breathe <laughs> dearie I've never done this before. First time for everything. Mm-hmm. Um, so with this oh. music, what is our aim? To wake him up? Or, like, jolt him awake? Or be gentle? I don't think we should... I don't think we should hurt him in any sense of the word. He'd probably come out swinging, wouldn't he? I think the idea of the music is to put in the fire, the fire of the beast oh, it's like into a, it's his like body a... so that he can't resist it and just keep his booty dropping and moving. Oh, so we should say, like, should we should we put on some, like, anime shonen then for him? Get the belly fire ignited. Potentially. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, are we, so we're putting on some of this music you've got planned. Where's your instruments? It is it? Uh, no, oh, here, here. I pull out a bag of holding and About I just like that. start like, handing out all of these out. <laughs> instruments to everyone. Okay, I want I want everybody in the party, including Nassius, to take an instrument. What are you playing? The tambourine. All right. Electric guitar. Ooh, yeah. I have an uh, idea. Can I take vocals? Because Fiona can speak abyssal. Ooh, yeah. I like that idea. a lot. Uh, Lucy and Morris. I will be playing the trumpet. It's Scar Band after all. Okay. <laughs> and I will take the guitar, but it's got all drum sounds on it. So, oh, so it's like. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, Nassius is on bass, I think, then, by the sound of it. Yeah. So Nassius is like, oh, this is like the mandolin I played in my youth. Mm. He's Tried so to... sweet. Yes. Uh, okay. Should we, should we, um, should we start this whole shebang up? Yes. Okay, so a one, a two, a let's not fucking die skidoo. And uh, you start playing this sweet scar tune to try and wake Rakdos <laughs> up. 
And uh, and uh, so, can can everyone roll a collective performance check to see if this this track is indeed enough to wake up Rakdos from his slumber? I got a fourteen. Can the audience hear what we're hearing? They should be able to hear it. If you can hear so. it, tell us in the chat. Otherwise, we'll start the track again. <laughs> or else we look like losers. <laughs> <laughs> we already are losers. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, what's everyone getting on their performance check? Roll to shred. Uh, 13. 14. 17. I got a six. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, they I, can't hear it. <laughs> oh, uh, well, I'm going to use my uh, flash of genius to give you plus five, Lucy. Thank you. And I'm also going to use myself to give myself plus five. So, uh, so that I've at least got a twelve. All right. So we got a twelve. What else we got? We got a. Is that Lily an eight? No. So Lily is a twelve. What else we got? Uh, I got a seventeen. Oh, you got seventeen. Oh, sorry. I was looking at the dice feed. Uh, 14 for Fiona. And 13 for Dalen. All right, Nassius. Natural 20 for Nassius. Yeah! <laughs> so he's just like... Like, he's just fucking... He's, it's his moment to shine. He didn't think he would, like, you know, like, riding a bike once again. And uh, doing this awesome, awesome scar cover of, I don't know, something else. Um... Morris and, uh, is looking really envious at him, like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's kind of taking a little bit of the way, uh, and 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 he started taking a little bit of away from from Liliana's epic lick she's doing on the guitar. <laughs> and then uh, we we he, we we're like uh, we're sitting there going, mm, I don't think this is enough. Maybe we have to start the whole song again. Okay, okay. A one, a two, a one, two. Let's let's play a little harder, boys. And and everyone else. Beat forever again. Um, yeah, why not? From the beginning. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> 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 that was a practice run. That was a practice run. It's a practice. Run. It's a practice. All right, everybody go again. Uh, I hope then, this never ends, baby. <laughs> and then uh, you hear from the bottom of the pit like a... <gasps> like starting to like rouse Jeez from the slumber. Louise. And Nassius is just like, I think it's working. It's working. It's working. Everybody keep, keep, keep playing your sweet Scar licks. The world is at war. We're going to use Scar to save the world, everyone. Oh. Scar. <laughs> Scar saves the world. <laughs> <laughs> can I um can I cast suggestion through backup vocals with Fiona? Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, Fiona, um, what do your lyrics sound like? Um, I've had this long to think about it, and yet <laughs> I have nothing. Oh, is because I want to fire him up. Something along the lines of like, "Oh, great, Rakdos, the realm of Ravnica needs you." for the good of your realm that you so rightfully rule. Help us wake up. Wakey, wakey. All right, so. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> in okay. abyssal. Whatever that sounds like in abyssal. <laughs> One week since we looked at him. <laughs> One week since we looked at his face. Coming out of the pit and then he's angry. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, you you cast command. Uh, Rakdos is going to make it. It's a two before modifier, so I'm just going to say it fails. Uh, you command Rakdos to rouse from his slumber and he kind of like gets up and he's like, Aah! like just stretching his arms and his wings. He picks up his scythe and he's like, who dares disturb my slumber? As you keep like shredding legs and you see Nassius down there. He's like, it's cool, bro. We got Scar. <laughs> I turn around and we got my assless ass. <laughs> so, uh, you have Nassius to thank for this. Rakdos starts like kind of bobbing his head a little. He's like, mm, mm, ah. <laughs> I love Scar. <laughs> and you see him start like Rakdos starts like skanking in the middle of the pit. He starts like kicking no, a no, demon. No, get out, out, of, get out of that like, chair. Boom, I want to see it, boom. dog. <laughs> he's like kicking demons all over the place. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, you, you see like a demon like splat against the wall. It turns into abyssal dust fucking hitting like he's starting like a semi mosh pit and Nassius is just like like and 
everybody together, congratulations. You have worked out that Rakdos is super into ska music particularly. <laughs> and through your collective checks, you have woken the demon and he will probably give you the audience that you deserve. Yeah, uh, you fuck see Lily going on. <laughs> Liliana, you're fucking raising dead all over the place for him just to kick more people as he's skanking around. You know, he gets his big scythe and golf clubs one of them into the wall. Oh man. I Morris, him. Morris has this brief moment of existential where he's like, wait, Ravnikans are dying. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Never with mind. That, with with uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, the the music calms down. Everybody pause that for us. And oh, uh, it ended for me. Yeah, it did for me too. I tried yeah. to time it. So uh, the the music calms down, and you you bow out with your performance. All the demons that were around are now dead, thanks to you. And Rakdos looms over you, and he kind of he he, he the Rakdos, the showstopper himself looks down upon the party. Hello. You bring to my domain. Excellent performance, by the way. Thank you. Thank you, yes. We're, we're available for weddings. <laughs> and funerals. And bar mitzvahs. Mm -hmm. Christenings. <laughs> so, <laughs> Nancy is like, I think, I think we actually have, we have business. Uh, Mr. Mr. Doss. <laughs> um, uh, 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 oh, I'm too nervous. Um, Sir, Ravnica is at war. Have you not woken from the sounds of anguish and death? We no. are in serious turmoil. That's my white noise. The great dragon, Nicol Molas, has taken the city by force. We must stop him. Ooh. Oh, he's some farmer. A farmer? Yes. yes. Come to Ravnica. The yes. trick of a dragon. A dragon. Where of Niv? Oh, he's dead. Where of Nizit? It is not good, I'm afraid. What do you need of me? We must get close to Nicol Bolas but we are struggling to get through the forces, and he is in, indeed very powerful. Is this dragon airborne? Yes. Does he have airborne forces? Yes. A large bin chicken creature. I hate those so much. Me too, they get up yeah. in your face, they steal things out of your hands. But my crab. The crab? It got hurt? My crab. Look at my little baby. Buddy Look crab how small hurt she up. is now. Did it hurt good or hurt bad? Bad hurt. It was a non-fun hurt. Rakdos thinks for a moment. Performances are for the joys of others. No one should get hurt unless I permit it. And I do not permit this to be fun, sexy hurting. That comes after. Yes. I like you. Get in line. I will crush you. <laughs> I'll, I'll take that chance. I will help. Yes. I will help you with your war. On one condition. Anything. You must play another tune when <laughs> we are finished. That can be arranged, for sure. It is done. When the dragon's dead, we'll play some scar, we'll have an orgy, it'll be... <laughs> He's very interested in all of that, like everything that you've said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Your audio yes. cut out and all I heard was, we'll have a party, orgy. <laughs> That's all you needed to hear. That's, That's basically I what That's I said. I, That's all, all Rakdos needed. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll switch back to Abyssal and just chat to Rakdos. Like, uh, also, hello, dear. Um, did you sleep well? Are you feeling okay? Me. Yes, dear. My back hurts a little. Oh, honey. I slept okay. on the well, wrong wing. We'll see what we can do. Okay. Do you want a massage? I wouldn't say no. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> Climb upon my back. Right. We're out of here. I and climb uh, on. I yep. so do I. Yeah. Ra yep. uh, Rakdos at this point uh, spreads his wings, letting you kind of sit like on his neck between the between like his giant tuft of back hair and uh, his head and horns, and uh, he just goes boo, and he just like smashes straight through the ceiling at this point, uh, launching straight up into the air. He takes a look over the landscape and goes. Uh, you are not kidding about the dragons and the flying creatures. Yes, shit's fucked. Yes. Where are the other guild leaders? Uh, they're in I pieces. Think... Some of them dead. One of them on your back. What? Hello. Oh, I understand with her mother-like demeanor. She will oh, make a great you. leader. Oh, darling, thank you. Yes. yes, some people like the motherly touch. The Gogari will love this. Uh, and he he pretty much like starts flying all the way back at this point to uh, the guild hall, crashing through the roof of their hideout. Everyone's just like, ah! oh my god, oh my god, oh, we're all going to die. And, We've oh, done hey, it. Oh, hey, Rakdos. Uh, and and uh, you all you all land back with the big daddy demon man himself. And what do you want to do? Is Jace there? Jace is there. He's very unimpressed that you just broke his hideout. <laughs> Look, I've been experimenting with this new thing. You put ramen in it, and then kill fill it with glue. It'll get just as good as new. <laughs> Uh, I, okay. Why, why did you have to come through the roof? Look at him. We don't have doors big enough for this thing. Large, isn't he? Uh, okay. We've got more intel. We've, um, we've, we've realized that, uh, we've sent a few people to evacuate more civilians, but, uh, since you've been gone, Ral has shut down the, uh, the beacon device just to stop any more people getting trapped here. So unfortunately, this is all we've got left. Wow. We are the last line of defense of Ravnica against this terrible dragon. So the farmers just left? No, they didn't leave. We're saying we shot it down so no one would get trapped here. Oh, okay. Yes. What, what happened to um, Jabari? Is it is his name Jabari? Jabari? The the lion man. Johnny. Oh, oh he, Johnny. He, he, he was he's on the been, tree. He would have jumped off. He would have, you know, he's he's he's... You know, he's an outdoor Irrele cat. We don't irrelevant. Know he yeah, he's an outdoor cat. He'll land on his feet. <laughs> Fine. Um, he'll come back when he wants. Jabari. <laughs> yeah, where's Cabanossi? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, where are we at with these dark blades? Raul walks up. He's like, well, I've managed to recreate two or three of them, but I don't think we can get too many more without some significant amount of time we don't have. That's fair. Anything we can do to try and increase the odds? No, but I do have another idea. Yes. Uh, with Niv being unfortunately indisposed of, uh, we did find a set of plans that in the event of his death, we could possibly resurrect him. But not only that, oh. but oh. as the new living guild pact, we think this could wow. be what we need as well. The... Jace has elected not to become uh, tied to the plane as much anymore in the event that we actually live. But we think we could put this in maybe a new body for Niv and coax his soul back in with some form of ritual. The dragon seems to have been very paranoid about his own death over the years, and he's created a number of contingencies, but this one seemed the most fitting to our plans and our predicament. Okay. Yes. So are we raising him... Back is undead, or are we just putting him back? Well, he's given us these plates. Uh, one looks like his face, but the others more or less look like pieces of a larger body. So we're unsure if mm. this is flesh or if this is metal. Either way, he'll be gold and silver in color by the end of it. Right. Hmm. Fiona I don't know if any of you so have pleased it. at this idea. <laughs> have any of you got any experience with such necromancies? I I can make corpse puppets. That could work. 
I could summon some powers to maybe rejuvenate some life. Although, I'm, have we have we considered that perhaps death is just a natural part of it all, and that we should just accept it and it's fine? We could. Is this how you all feel? What about the powerful necromancer lady? Yes, Miss Vess, have you had a change of heart since visiting the plane? If it helps defeat Aulus, then I will accept. You do realize this could be seen as an act of defiance if you do this. I do. I look directly at Jace. I'm willing to die to save you. You better hope it's a good death then because you owe everyone for this. Everything I do is glorious, so I'm sure it will be just as good. Kind of like has like a small like, you know, side smile smirk. All right. Do what you do best, I guess. Well, all right then. I'll, I'll, I'll assist somehow. All right. How would you like to do this? Is this? A, is this? A, I mean, this is this is much more than a just a, a check kind of thing. How would you like to prepare? So they've gotten they've they found like some kind of contraption device in like a deep laboratory of Niv Mizzets. And there is very clearly some advanced magic here that he's been putting into it. There's like a hovering plate that has like his face like in a 3D in like space on it. Almost like not like a hologram, but made of like shifting living metal parts. Mm. And it's surging with like electricity. Maybe we like transfer his AI to a little Tamagotchi or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> little pocket yeah, digital. This is this is uh, his project. He called it. I don't actually know what he called it. He didn't write it down. He just said, "In the event of my death, here are some plans." All right. Well, let's study these plans and see if we can put them in action. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, make a. Maybe you can do an investigation check. Anyone that would like to study uh, some things. I would yeah. like to read over the plans, knowing the necromantic power that I have. So I'll do an investigation. Yeah, and okay. I will also investigate. Coolie, cool, cool. Ooh, 13. Not very good. Um, I got a 15, but I'm going to use another one of my Flash of Genius to make that a 20. All right. So 15 and 20, was it? 13 and 20. 13 and 20. Uh, yeah, with this, you look like you can decipher most of this. It looks like it's going to take a huge amount of necromancy magic, possibly, you know... Uh, Liliana and Fiona definitely working together, but perhaps a little more than you have currently. Um, well, at your, at your base levels, yeah. that is. So you you definitely can surge this into a body. Um, however, it will also take a representative from each of the guilds to put some of their magic, similar to the ley lines, into it as well to enact a new guild pact enforcement spell. Are you still in cat form, Morris? I uh, no. I think I've, I've exited cat form, and uh, Florence has just been hanging out with me. Hey, okay. what's up? <laughs> Down, Florence. I want to be part of this too. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> uh, seeing that Morris is understanding these plans more than me bothers me, but I'm also a little turned on. Oh, yes, oh, yes. This is what Morris does. <laughs> Lucy, how are you going with the plans? Did you would you have a look over them at all? Uh yeah, I only got an eleven though. So I'm oh, like fair. Mm. <laughs> I'll I'll have a look. I had a squiz. Oh, it's a twenty-one. Yeah, similar similar answer to Morris. Yeah. yeah. It, you you very much are understanding the gist of all of it here. Um and and this this looks like it would imbue the same level of magic that Jace had within him. Almost like a almost like that because the guild packed hole blew up that's where most of the magic was that contained for jace but this would encompass all of that into just the vessel of this new niv mizzet body oh wow yeah oh wow what all do you right. think what do you think do you think you can get this done well 
We can yes. give it a shot. I think you have a rather competent group of people. Yes. Do we have the guild representatives? We've got some. Well, let's hope this is enough. Uh, and uh, they start to they start to set you up in positions where you could feasibly feed magic into a body uh, of living metal. Oh, uh, one second. Uh, Florence, go get the Klungos. <laughs> Why? I'm already the boss, so I'm Klungo clan representative number oh, one already. Oh, excellent. Good. Then we've got the extra guilds. <laughs> yeah. Are Yay! you saying you want to put an 11th guild in this body now? Yes. Where's the application process? The Azorius are going to be so mad. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> All the paperwork. <laughs> Can you roll a... Uh, what's your penmanship? What's your slider hand check? No. What's your, what's your best score? Uh, uh, it's actually intimidation or persuasion, but uh, maybe there's a maybe there's an essay attached to it as to why this is a good idea, <laughs> and you can roll a slider hand check with your charisma. Yeah, and oh, add a hundred okay. to that. And add a hundred to it. Yeah. No. Uh, an unnatural twenty. <laughs> Ooh. Woo. The paperwork's good. It's sound, and it's written by an Azorius who knows how to get around Azorius bureaucracy, so it would get <laughs> approved in a much faster time than normal. So Dalen reckons it's fine. And I did this pro bono. <laughs> I sort of pat Dalen's cheek. Good job. You're Your saying hands I, are cold. <laughs> hey, Dalen, Dalen, are you saying that, like, I'm going to be the new guild leaders, like, of the Klungos? The, meow, meow, cat. Very good. <laughs> I can't understand him. <laughs> huh. What a dumbass. Oh, them? Her? No, it's a girl. That's just yeah, Matt's her. girl voice. Yeah. <laughs> this is my lady voice. Matt my loves lady his lady Florence voice. voice. <laughs> I love my, my lady, lady voices. voices. And oh, then yeah. as I scratch, it goes underneath. Oh, so and I'm good. doing that oh. under, the, under the, under the, right there. I'm like, yeah, yeah. And then Boris, I'm, like, grabs you up. He's like, be careful, you'll get bitten. <laughs> I've decided I don't like it. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, man, don't you know how cats work? Uh, well, apparently not. <laughs> so uh, at this point, you you they line you up in the areas to to feed some guild magic in. They actually put they put uh, the the La Familia Klungo uh, representative in an eleventh spot that is is uh, you know now marked with the insignia of the Klungos and mm, the penis. You, yes, the penis. <laughs> uh, and you start feeding some magic in a ritual to this body. Can I get everyone to make a religion check? You're feeding the magic Ooh. in, you're chanting, oh. you're trying to... That's a natural one, isn't it? No, uh, it was almost a 19, but it moved to a 3. Oh. Oh. I keep Come rolling 3s as well. <sighs> Luckily, I have plus 22. 10 to religion. Yeah, so with that check, uh, so who got who got above 15? One, two, yes. three. That's half. That's over half. Uh, plus Florence, please. Oh, Florence has to roll it as well. Florence That's also like... needs to roll it with their plus zero. <laughs> what is Florence getting? Oh. What is Florence two. getting? Two. All right, three and three. Who else is in the chamber with you? It looks like the spell is failing at the moment. You're on an equal split between pass and fail. Can I use my D6 of inspiration to give to Liliana? Because I see you you got 13, didn't you? Am yeah, I able yeah. to give that to her? Yes, you may. Yes, you may. How do you do this? I I I can see that Liliana is clearly a little bit uh, scare-roused by me and intimidated by my intelligence because <laughs> I understood those plans. And I'm like, no, no, darling. You must you, <laughs> you, you look, this is how it's going to work. And I'm like, I take her hand and I'm like putting it on and like showing her the different bits of technology. And <laughs> here from the back of the room, Nasty's is like, oh. <laughs> this is like a ghost moment. <laughs> yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. She uh, leans into it. Darling. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's yeah, that's what I do. You see Liliana like look down at his hands and then sort of back up her body into his. Ooh. 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 What's the D6? Uh, do you want to roll it or should I? 
You can roll it. I've been rolling sh very, very badly. It's a two. Oh, wait, no, that's what we need. Uh, do you need a 15? Oh, yay! yay! All right. Mm -hmm. Uh, you have this sensual moment, uh, kind of with, with Liliana there and you both snap out of it. You actually realize Nassius has been staring at you the whole time, but it worked. That definitely gave you a bit of the magic surge, uh, that you need. Everyone's busy, Nassius. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> deal with staring. it, Nassius. <laughs> He's just like, go I take just... your blue balls somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> they may be blue, but yeah, okay. <laughs> and he, uh, he leaves. Uh, you you see a lot of the so what do you got like six guilds worth of energy here mm. seven even because dalen's able to do a duel on you so you're only missing a couple rakdos just puts his hand down and just like flicks some magic into it eight uh and all you're really <laughs> missing is all yeah he's so just like Bleh. um orzov and boros gideon thankfully has been a mem member of the boros legion as an honorary member since his first days in Ravnica. So he comes along and stands on his plate, casts his magic, and mm -hmm. feeds it into it. And last but certainly not least, we have Kaya standing at the back of all the Ooh. allies. Very familiar with the Orzhov magic. Reluctantly, uh, not reluctantly, but like stepping up uh, and going, I, I, I want to help however I can. So if this, if this is how I can do it, then for the good of Ravnica. And and contributes her Orzov magic to the spell. You see the you see a rainbow of uh, of of guild magic starting to coalesce into this living metal body, starting to take form, and you see it kind of stretching out and warping into the shape of a very large gargantuan sized dragon. You see like Niv Mizzet's frilly kind of tentacly uh, hair. I, I don't know how to describe it, but he's he's got like frills coming off his face as uh, they, as the webbed tentacles, you know, sprout further and grow to their true length. And uh, this this living dragon of guild-packed magic and metal starts to, to ride, stretch, and then finally calm down as they they look around the room. He becomes like a blue-eyes white dragon. Kind of. <laughs> it, he's like gold, brass, bronze, silver, but with like bright sky blue uh irises yeah nice everyone's been channeling their magics yeah <laughs> <laughs> um niv mizzet newly refreshed and reborn stands before you but you feel the same energy that jace gave off coursing through this dragon now Welcome back. Yes. Um, one question. Why did you let me die, fellow Izzetman? It was Nassius. Mm-hmm. I don't care about Nassius. I care about the people that are in my guild that did not pertain to my death. Why didn't you warn me of this? Yeah, guys. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Excuse me. I'm talking to you, Mr. Representative of the Izzet Guild, as it were. Where is Ral? I... What do you have to say for yourself? Yeah, Ral. Where Ral is, Ral? is No, Ral's not in the room. Yeah, Fuck Ral. <laughs> he is 100% fucked off. He didn't want to deal with Niv. Ral was here a second ago. <laughs> Does yes. it truly matter right now? He kind of turns around to you and says, and who might you be? You look familiar, but I don't recognize will remember you. I'm Liliana. I think I remember Liliana once when we had the whole maze incident. You're back, are you? Indeed. <laughs> what? And do tell me, everyone, what tragedy has befallen Ravnica? Some bolus sounds, dragon rocked up to, to sounds, destroy everything. <laughs> bolus. A dragon? Yes, yeah. indeed. He has no balls. Yes. And is this the same dragon that I fought and have evidently met my own demise, as it yes. were? Yes. And he's still alive. How troublesome. I do say I feel like I'm a lot better after last encounter. So what do you say we go up and give him a bit of a tussle? 
No, I think yeah, we should kill him. Yeah, let's fuck him up. Yeah. Well, I prefer like... you kill him before he kills me. Yes. I don't care either way. Wasn't talking to you. Everyone's talking to me, dear. And he just like stretches his wings and kind of like prowls around the outside of the, uh, you know, this chamber, you know, paying attention to your conversation, but not necessarily being a part of it anymore. Very arrogant dragon. Mm -hmm. I, I turn to the others. Look, who is going to be carrying the real dark blade? Who has the best chance of getting to Bolus? Are you talking to the group, like us, or to the whole to, of everybody? I think to everyone, planeswalkers included. Uh, well, Gideon, Gideon steps forward, he's like, I will wield the dark blade. Okay. If you need me. Well, I will wield one of them, I don't mind. If you think that you have the greatest chance of getting to him and plunging the blade within his heart, then do it. My skin is invulnerable. Well, that's pretty damn good! Yes, that's why him? I volunteered. Shit! Him. Is, that sounds quite good. How did you do that, and how can I get some? <laughs> yeah, that's that's wild. Are you from, what did you call it? The farm? No. Then I'm sorry, you might not have the opportunity. Uh, uh lame. Discrimination. Mm -hmm. Farmers cool. only, I suppose. To I totally get it. Oh, get I'm from it. a different place, and I have invulnerable skin. That's, that's farmer leather skin. They're out there in the sun picking crops. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right? They age yeah. terribly, though, so, like, fair trade-off. Look here, Gideon, take this blade. You're our biggest hope. You need to plunge it in here. And then I hand out dark blades to, uh, to Lucy, Dalen, and Fiona, and I say, make sure that he knows that these are out there so that he does not know who to watch out for. Right, no so, problem. So this is a fake? This is a fake. Okay. And I've got one for myself too. All right, so who's got a dark blade? Sweet, so we got five? All right. Yes, this should be, this should suffice. If not, well, then we just have to hit him with everything we've got, I guess. Yes. Yes. What of that of Dovan Barn? What of that of the portal? Have we got teams for this yet? Uh, uh, Anasius comes up. Yes, we've got a few people that have volunteered for that. We've got um, Khan Dak and Ob Nix to go to the portal and sh show up and find out who's doing it from the other side. Close it from from the within. They can possibly come back after after the portal's been closed. So we've got a we've got we've got an escape plan, as it were. We've also just heard that Vraska has made landing back on the plane, and she's talking with Lavinia about, well, what happened in the Azorius. I give Jace a look. Jace kind of like looks and like immediately looks away. <laughs> it's a cute little anime boy, isn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so. I like them bashful. <laughs> We've also got a few people that want to storm the uh, uh, the thing that Dovin Bar. What's it called? New Prav. It's a uh, he, he wants to storm New Prav. He, uh, we've got um, Chandra Sahili and uh, the Dimir Guild leader Lazav to try and shut down this um, trap, as it were. So. If our plan is to use the black blade to plunge it into the dragon, then they will go and do these options. Is that a good plan for all of you? Yes. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Could we dimension door within Bolus, within his body? You need a point that you can see, but I I fear that he would Doesn't just. Doesn't have to be a point that I need to see. No, but I fear that he would counter spell us before we get too close. Not if he sees me. Or not if he doesn't see me. Oh, as in, like, it. from 500 meters away. We can try. I could also dimension door. We try that's, four, that's four of us. 
You get four of you. Are you going to try teleport inside the beast? Regardless, you can't count to all four of us. You can't. Well, no, he only needs to count to one, so two, because it, it transports two each. Look, I say we go for it. Destruction first. Shred, shred then, him from the inside. And then we, then we portal in. What happens if it? What happens if it doesn't work inside his body? What do you mean? Well, are you taking the real black blade or the fake? I ones? will take Gideon with me. Oh yes, okay. I was gonna ride Rakdos. Let's do that together, and if all else fails, and then we grab me and we go in. Okay, and so Ravnica, and you and I. Okay, very good. You and I shall be the brave souls. We will ride the demon into battle, and once we plunge ourselves in, we shall teleport inside him. Is that your plan? If we can't kill him, we can't the outside, stab him. Then we'll try and get in. Okay. Is there is there a um, Selesnian uh, representative around at all, apart from myself? Is it is you right now. It is just there's no it, other Selesnians here. Uh there there are, but they're not representatives. They're just they're just uh, you know Ravnikans. Okay, cool. Did did you need someone? I want to give someone this tree thing. Oh yes, you can I, absolutely. I yeah. So uh, yeah, a Selesnian uh, guild member can absolutely take the the seat of V two Gazi from you. That that that's totally fine. Unnamed NPC. Yes. This is Vitugazi's seed. Yes. Plant this, we grow him. I, thank you so much. I will take this to my best friend, unnamed NPC2. Thank you. Yes. Project except that with your life. Yes, except Vitugazi's seed. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, oh, what are you tell oh, yep. Safa I love her. I'm her son. I will. I will. I will tell Safa you uh, care deeply for her. Okay, so we're in the so end game now. We're in the end game now. So uh what what's your what are your what are your current plans? You're you going out uh and what's everyone else doing? So we've got we've got sounds like Dalen and Gideon are gonna do that. Lucy, Fiona, Morris, and Liliana. If um, okay. If we manage to kill one of the giant zombies we could make them into one of our own henchmen so that could help if we're trying to prove some sort of distraction while they do their thing any kind of distraction we can do is going to be of the utmost importance otherwise i can really try hard and turn the dragon into a rat but that can be a last last resort we're gonna have to break him down first before you do something like that Yes, absolutely. So, last resort, <laughs> therefore. If we're going to focus on killing one of the zombies, I say we go for the one with the bow and arrow, because that thing is deadly. Yes. Yes. Mm. I do agree. Liliana, you have necromantic powers, do you not? I do. Do you have control over these gods? Yes. I could get them to turn but it will be the end of me would so you i do need that? to get close enough first would you do that for ravnica ravnica no i need you to make this decision for yourself i will not ask you to kill anyone or harm yourself we have adventured together for some time and i know that you know the right thing to do I will sacrifice myself for you all. There's no point in me living under the control of someone else. I'd rather control others. You see Gideon Consent. kind of, you see Gideon kind of clutch your shoulder a bit with a grip and a, 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 a tear kind of starts streaming down his face. He's like, you are a good person, Lily. You don't need to give me that much credit. She wipes the tears from his face. You see him hold up the black blade for Ravnica. 
for Raptica. <laughs> no, he, he wasn't expecting it to come oh. back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, 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 we're doing it. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, do it now. For Raptica. He wasn't expecting it, but that's fine. Um, and 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 uh, you all set out. <laughs> yeah, Morris Morris turns to Florence and is like, "Want to do the cat thing again?" Yeah, sure. I love that. Yeah, cool. cool. I love the plane that gives us. Yeah. So you all walk outside, I pick facing. Up the cat. Sorry. I pick up the cat. Nice. You you uh you walk outside as Bolus is pretty much in his same position as always. However, the swirling magic around him looks like it's getting a bit more intense once again. And you can see one single person staring at the rest of you, like the whole of the Ravnican forces that you have uh, assimila uh, uh, assimilated. Uh, ass assembled? Assemb that's it. Uh, you've assembled, and uh, Domri is just sitting there with, with, like, bruises, scratches all over him, and he's just like, well... You're just gonna go up and kill him. Yes. You're just gonna go up, and just just talk to Mr. Fucking Dragon Man again. And what are you gonna do like last time? Huh? I well, flick him on the forehead. He's kind of a little bit down the road. Oh. But I, I walk up to him and I flick him on the forehead. Power kill. <laughs> yeah, uh, and he's like, don't you touch me. You're the cause of all this. He didn't say nothing about some tart in a dress. Domri, has anyone ever told you you're the worst? You're the worst. Yeah, well, and he just spits on the ground. Can I? What do matters? I cast Finger of Death when I flick him. Um, he will try to counterspell that, but did you actually try to power word kill him? I want to save that one. Okay. Uh, you want to cast finger that he will counterspell that. I'm going to run up and punch I'll him in the face. I'll his counterspell. All right. Well, then, so he, yeah, yeah, you can do that. So you, you cast cast finger of death on him. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's a con save. Otherwise, he takes 7d8 plus 30 necrotic damage. Uh, it's going to be like a 17. <laughs> fail. A fail. All right. He fails. Cast finger of death, and you see him just like, you, you see like this death, purple and black necrotic energies start like streaming straight into him. Uh, Fifty-two points of damage. Uh, that doesn't kill him. However, uh, he is already severely bloodied. Like this, this severely injures him. However, what it does though is you see uh, a pulse go. Boom outside the sky from where Bolus's uh, location is and every nearby uh, blue Lazatep soldier turns to face Domri and they start trying to crowd him like you've marked him <laughs> and he's just like what? no no stay away I've, I've, been, I've been avoiding them all day no have fun and you see, you see them like start to chase after him, except something horrible and unexpected even for you happens. They grab him by the neck and you see it like start draining magic out from under him, like a soul or something of them, like a, like a fizzing magic comes out down their arm and into their head. Domri's eyes roll back as his mouth and nose and ears start bleeding and the zombie explodes. All you see now is this wisp of magical energy just going like straight through the air towards Bolus's citadel. And uh, you, you, you feel the rest of the magic in the plane take a sour turn as you now see a lot of these zombies just going bah, 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 exploding like they've harvested all of this at once and now are letting it go. Uh, you see all of these wisps, these new wisps starting to coalesce and converge on Bolus as they absorb into him and the violent maelstrom behind him grows ever stronger once again. That's not a good sign. Domri falls on the ground dead. Worth it. Worth it. Absolutely worth it. I, I loot his corpse. Yeah. 
Um, it's, <laughs> I put the cat down on the corpse. In terms of an artificer, I'm just going to say there's nothing really on there unless you want a really cool, like, bowler-shaped corpse stuff. I, was just, yeah. I was just making jokes. Yeah, all right. I know you want items all the time. I know it. I know everyone knows you want items. Okay. Uh, <laughs> everyone looks kind of grim and around at each other. I don't want that to happen to us, so let's just get this done, okay? Yes, well. Yes. I think we should go. For Ravnica? Yeah. Ravnica! <laughs> Ravnica! Ravnica! Yes. Very good. Um, I'm going to get on the demon as well. I think I want to come for a ride. Uh, and they start. you start, like, climbing atop the top uh, Rakdos. Rakdos pretty much just, like, flies up in the air and just beeline straight for Bolus. And uh, you like just like just air rushing past you. What do the, the other four of you do? Do you like start just like running for the Citadel at this point? You've almost got a clear shot as, as Liliana can pretty much part the ways of the hordes to get there, like diverting them into other streets to cause chaos somewhere else. You've got a straight shot for the Citadel. Giddy and I will stay together. Good luck, friends. All right, yes. good luck. Good luck, Dalen. Good luck, Gears. It's been a lot of fighting with you all. Yes. And uh, you you start to... Uh, Rakdos kind of, like, curls around, but the problem is that uh, the Ibis-headed god is the one that can fly, starts kind of tussling with both of you at the same time, and you see that uh, Rakdos is starting to struggle a bit, trying to keep flight while also avoiding these spells that this creature is casting. Can I... I put the cat down. I kiss the cat's forehead. I put the cat down. Yeah. I'm going to stand in the middle of the space that I've cleared, and I'm going to start trying to turn the gods against Borlas. All right. Uh, you will need significantly more power to do Can something like I that. I use the... Forgetting the name of it. The yeah. chain veil. Yeah, the chain yeah. veil. You can use the chain veil. So you put this mask made of interlinking chains on. It's almost like a masquerade mask covering the lower half of your face. And you feel its ancient evil power start to surge through your body while also taking a massive toll. Is it to, when, when do you have to make that con save, by the way? I'll also uh -huh. open it just so you don't have to. But uh, what, are the, what are your downsides of wearing this incredibly deadly artifact? Uh, I must exceed a DC 17 constitution saving throw or take one level of exhaustion. Oof. Uh, All right, so con save or else you get a level of exhaustion just from using this thing. You feel the magic surging through it, but you can... You think you can either turn the gods against each other, but you can also uh, do a lot more than just that. I rolled a three. You gain a level of exhaustion as you, you put on the mask. Your tattoos of your arcane scarring start bleeding all over subtly as your magic is racked with alien power. Yeah. However, the gods start turning away. You see, you know that the Ibis is named Kefnet. Kefnet flies away, scooping around, and uh, more or less like it's got a new target for now. Uh, but Bolus takes notice of this and side-eyes you, almost as if it's a warning. Rakdos heads straight for Bolus, uh, and as the rest of you start catching up to the Citadel as well, uh, give me uh, how, how do you want to climb and get up to Nicole Bolus while you're distracted? Do you want to do stealth? Do you want to do athletics? Like I'll let you choose how you how you make this climb as you start to scale this massive structure. Is is Rakdos going straight for him? Rakdos is like beelining. Then I'm going to stay on the I'm going to stay on Rakdos with Gideon. Yeah. He's like, get ready, we are nearly at the point of the drop. But uh, everybody, uh, Fiona, Fiona, Lucy, Morris? Um. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll just cast Pass Without a Trace on everyone. 
if we want to do a stealth check. All right, everyone can do some. Everyone can do some stealth check if you want to. Pretty much uh, uh, use use Rakdos's distraction to try and scale the citadel and get as close as you can to Bolas. Yeah. Everyone gets a plus ten. Not Ooh. a nat twenty. You did. Yeah, twenty. You did. Well done. Twenty three. Nice, nice, nice. So what do we get? Twenty natural twenty. Twenty seven. Twenty three. Uh, nat one. Ugh. So that means you get a 14. Yeah, yeah, I still get a 14. But, but Dork Tales, thank you so much for the raid. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Welcome. Hello. Reaching a climax moment of the penultimate episode of Ravnica <laughs> War of the Spark. Hey, if you like what you see, give us a follow, please. Give us some subscriptions, whatever else is, is your fancy. You've just rolled a stealth check. We're trying to go up to a massive dragon casting a spell that's killing people. And you're riding a big demon of the Rakdos Guild. So... Morris, you just rolled a natural one. I did. All right. This is going to be bad for you. Um, yeah, join the Discord. Join the Split the Party Discord as well. This is a collaboration between Split the Party and uh, and Roll for roll Damage. Roll for Damage. Yep, yep. Sorry. I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to keep that momentum. But uh, yeah, no, join join all of the Discords. Do whatever. Hang around. We'll probably stay on a little longer as a result. Thank you for, thank you for, thank you for coming. We really appreciate it. Morris? Bolas looks straight down at you. You have been noticed. And Blood he, my dark blade. he casts... <laughs> he casts Power Word Kill. Can you get around this? Have you got enough health to get around this? No. <laughs> do you have a counter spell handy? No. <laughs> All right. I do. Bolas is not fucking around. No, no, of course not. Uh, I also have a counter spell, and as a... Another defiance after his side eye. I'm going to counter spell it. Okay. Liliana, you see Bolas just just effortlessly look down at Morris as he's coming up with a, with a, with a dark blade and just sells worm. And you feel the magic try to take hold as it tries to just instantly kill your body. Liliana... Mm -hmm. With your chain veil, does that amplify your... Yes, it does. Can you make your counterspell check DC 19 with advantage? So that'll be... I think I think it's a spellcasting ability. So you get a D20 plus your charisma modifier, but with advantage. So... Oh, Nassius is up here too. He can also try. Sorry. My charisma modifier plus what, sorry? Just a, sorry, so it'll be a, an ability check, but you don't get proficiency, so it's just a d20 plus your charisma modifier. Plus five. Ugh, I rolled a four. Uh, I have advantage. You have advantage. Please be better. I've been rolling so terrible today. Worse. Oh, no. Uh, <sighs> nine. All right, the power word kill strikes target. Ooh, I feel the, the death magic coming. I'm like, be good. I'm okay with this. No, you won't. You can't do this, boss. No, Florence, no! <laughs> Florence, like, axes the shield in his armor, oh. taking the power word kill do it, in full strength. You see your armor? collapse around you and start forming into the cat just being like boss no boss Florence why would you do this oh. keep the clungo safe boss <laughs> Florence no and Florence goes still as the kill spell finalizes You will not be forgotten, Florence. This will not be in vain. Bolus shall die. At this point, you just hear a Aah! as Gideon has like leapt off the off, off the I, demon. I yeah, yeah, yeah. You you dropping, boys. You dropping. It's PUBG now. So you 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 
tonal whiplash. I know, sorry. But uh, Gideon jumps off the dragon, seizing the moment to plunge the Black Blade straight into the dragon to hopefully kill it. Dalen, do you follow suit? Yeah. This is this is go time. Everyone, Morris, you 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 place your loving companion down uh, peacefully, take out the blade and just rush. Does everyone else kind of what, what, what's everyone else doing? I want to be an arm's distance of Gideon. All right. So uh, you and Gideon basically like blade down, kind of double handing it as you try and like drive it down. Yeah, I've got my sword and the black sword. I'm going to come down with both. All right. So uh, you and you and Gideon basically like just double diving this thing down. Uh, Fiona, Lucy and Morris come up and try to like stab it straight into like both of his ankles, like pinning his feet down like pittance. Can everybody make a, an attack roll each? Yes. Uh, the Black Blade will have a plus 10, plus whatever mm. proficiency you have if you have proficiency in long swords. Even the fake Black Blades? Uh, they will be plus one. They'll just act like a plus one weapon. Okay. Oh, so I can just roll my normal long <gasps> sword. Nat 20! Yep. Oh, nice. Them feet pinned. All right, Gideon got a 27. I got a 23. All right. What's everyone else got? Um, I got a... What has everyone six. got? Oh, <laughs> All right, so uh, Gideon holding the true black blade, getting a 27, gets a hard hit, driving the black blade straight into Bolus's, like, invisible shield that he's got set up and smashing through it. You see everyone else kind of damage him a little bit, dealing a bit of, uh, you know, magical... Uh, 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 piercing slashing damage uh, it definitely distracts him long enough however what you see next uh, looks like him driving the blade straight into his body except when he pulls the blade up it's not covered in blood and it's just the hilt and a small shard like the blade of Gondor as he realizes it's broken straight on the scales he's like what Possible? Bolus just like, like smacks him straight into the ground. He makes a crater as he drags all the way past the rest of the party and up to where Liliana is. That would be me too, right? Sorry? Because I'm with him. Yeah, yeah. He just smacks you both down. Your blades both break, <sighs> like snapping in half. Magic items cannot be destroyed. This has just been destroyed. This was not only a magic item, this is an artifact weapon that he has just broken. You see like this eerie khaki green magic kind of coating his body and you you see him laugh and just goes, I created that blade. And you all sit there in anguish. I see your... this happen and I want to use my remaining energy, however much it drains from me, to turn the gods against him. And that, uh, yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, 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 okay. <laughs> looks down, Bolus like looks straight down at you. The last line of defense for any of these plans. Kill your friends. Otherwise you know what will happen. I know and I, I choose to defy you. I own your contract. And uh, you, you, you bring all of the magic of the chain veil outward. You see all of the god zombies around you starting to turn writhe. You see Bontu, the crocodile-headed uh, zombie, turn around, locking eyes with Bolus, and immediately start, like, beelining and running up to try and bite and clamp down on his lower half. You see Kefnet just like lose all sense of like aerial maneuverability and just fall down shattering into a million pieces. Um, it looks like a couple of the gods have basically lost any kind of uh, sense of self uh, due to the amount of energy that has been poured into commanding even just two of the gods. You see Oketra uh, take their bow and just shoot uh, straight through the serpent headed god and it just corrodes them from the inside out. And then it aims its bow straight at Bolus. But Bolus's eyes glow fiery red. 
and he snaps his fingers and Liliana's tattoos and scarring start straight away without any any delay, burning her body from the inside out like the scars are opening up and showing like muscle fibers underneath. You feel a hand on your shoulder. Gideon, with almost no energy, stands up beside you, holding his stomach. <sighs> I said I'd be here for you. Don't do it. I must. And Gideon, using his protection magic, starts to absorb your magical burn, and it's it starts just burning his flesh. <sighs> I will see my friends again. Finish everything you can. The gods are doing their work. Make sure we can get this done. And you see, you see, sorry. Go, go okay. You see, you see like this, this fiery effect starting to take the same form of the scars on Gideon's body as the magic burns up his face and all that's left of him before you see him just like, evaporating away is this like moment of like clarity and peace as it burns through his rippling shield of skin and muscle and he fades away just into ash but you you feel your skin and there are no the, the scar there is scars there but it doesn't hold any magic anymore there is no contract binding your skin to this this awful dragon up on top of this citadel, but you still have the chain veil and you have never been more free and more filled with rage. I unleash that rage on him. All right. What's everyone else doing? <laughs> I'm getting up from the ground because I got fucking knocked the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my fucking head. <laughs> uh, are we attacking this dragon? Or what's up going to you. On? I'm so confused. We're going to try something. Um, I'm... Has anyone else been? What's, where's Rakdos? Rakdos, uh, Rakdos is pretty much just trying to like beat the living hell out of that that living shield he's got going on like slashing it as many times as possible or as as, as he physically can into it trying to weaken it looking for any openings um god damn it can i see any weaknesses or openings on, on bold ass you can see that bontu is about to break through something that is holding him back and take a big chomp out of his side help bontu maybe yeah yeah, it looks like Bontu's making headway because Bontu's made out of that same material as that absorption-y effect that you saw happen to Domri. Let's do that. What would you like to do? Um, how far away is that? Uh, Bontu's, like, probably scaling the Citadel at this point. So, less than 100, 100 feet. Where's Nasius? Um, I cast fly before we jumped off, so I'm up oh, here. I was gonna hope to see if you'd cast fly on us. <laughs> oh, I can come down there. He, he comes down and he, he casts fly at fifth level on Lucy and Dalen. I guess we gotta go. Okay. All right. Let's get this. Let's let's get this crocodile a chop. All right. Let's go. Uh, flying up. Flying up to Bontu, uh, Nasius casts Guidance on it, and uh, he's going to try and make a chomp attack against the dragon. You see the shield starting to come up, and it digs its teeth into it. How would you like to assist this zombie god to try and break through this shield? Um, I will... I will... Oh, gosh. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll assist with an attack. Okay. Do you want to, like, dig into the shield yourself as well? Yeah, I will help as well. All right. Lucy? Uh, I'm going to shoot one of my stars at the spot that they're attacking and try and do some magical damage. 
All right, yeah. Make some attack rolls, please. Sweet. Sixteen. Sixteen and... And... Seventeen. All right, yeah, that'll be enough to break through in combination with Bonchu. Bonchu gets about a 19, and you see, like, the, the fabric of reality just tear a little bit as it shards away like glass. Bontu's hit lands, and you see him just start, like, sucking out some kind of magical essence before, like, overloading its body and almost exploding with this energy. You see, you see Bontu just, like, go from like a huge crocodile just exploding in parts just like <laughs> as uh all of this just this, this wispy magic starts exploding out of it there's like hundreds of these things that have just been absorbed out of bolus's body he screams in agony just like Aah! as 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 the whole thing starts collapsing around from him he tries to like reach out for any of the wisps of the maelstrom around him and uh it doesn't look like he can do it and uh, it looks like this has worked. This has weakened the dragon slightly. Then you see Oketra, the other zombie god with the cat face, pull back the bow and fires straight through that hole with point pinpoint accuracy. Uh, it's not a nat 20, but it's like a 30. You see it strike straight into the dragon's heart and you see it like stick in. The magic starts also overtaking it, but forming a link straight through uh, the ether and the magical ley line to Oketra herself. The similar effect starts happening. She holds her head up and holds her arms out as the wisps start just exploding out of her. Oh, it shit. Looks, it looks like Bolus is, is unable to absorb this kind of magic anymore. As you all stand face to face with Nico Bolus right in front of you, looking down furiously at Liliana and the four of you. I will kill all of you right here, right now. And that's where we're going to end for the week. <sighs> ah! My God. All right. We all, we all hold hands and start channeling the power of friendship to defeat him. <laughs> All right, you are face to face with Nicole Bolas, like within combat range for some of you Jesus. as the session ends. Yes. We will come back. Lucy and, and I are balls deep into this dude. You yeah. fucking we sure are. Absolutely. I'm right in his feet. I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna get that tzatziki. Pasta, I'm gonna pour it into that fucking wound. <laughs> Poison the bitch, yes. <laughs> yeah. So, so favorite moments. Uh, we got we got about a couple of, uh, yeah, we got about 10 ish minutes left. But. Favorite moments, guys. How'd you, how'd you? Feel? There's a lot of happening in here. Uh, least favorite moments, Florence. Yeah. Mm. My God. She just saved the banjo me. appears. Yeah. She saved like me. That either. My yeah, kid. she did. Uh, rough. I love the awkward for Ravnica. That's my favorite. The awkward for Ravnica. <laughs> yeah, that's, that was funny. I um, I, I. <laughs> I love the ska. I like that we got Rakdos to like ska music. <laughs> yes. We didn't um, get him to. He did like ska. He liked ska music already, but you performed it well enough that he mm. thought you were a real band. And uh, yeah, I see someone in the chat saying Liliana's dom tendencies was very good. I did enjoy that as well. I loved how you would make Jace very awkward at any given moment. It's fun. Yeah, it's very fun. Uh, uh, yeah. Going from Liliana's dom tendencies to uh, submitting to Morris in the like ghostly, yeah. um, weird backing up into him scene. Yeah, okay. I see. I vibe it. It, it was good. <laughs> I enjoyed um, Domri trying to pick a fight in the oh, middle yeah. of a battle. I was like, I'm mm. oh, he's yeah. just a hate filled little man. Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. He's dead. He's a death filled. A lot of bitch. deaths today. Yeah. A couple of resurrections, but you know, a lot of death. <laughs> <laughs> War right. as hell. Wars of the sparks are no War. different. War, yeah, pretty much. I mean, you saw some sparks coming out of him. Uh, does anyone have any other favorite moments? Otherwise, we can start moving on. Yeah, to I your bolus voice. <laughs> oh, man, that was oh, awesome. You, you like my dragon voice? I'm really into ASMR, so I loved it a lot. Oh, you like the dragon voice? 
Let me year. just turn you up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I liked I liked when Rakdos asked um, if Veronica getting hurt was a good hurt or a bad hurt. Yeah, it's not a he's, sexy hurt. He's so, safe, sane, consensual all day. We stand. Rakdos, <laughs> Rakdos is a sadism masochistic demon, but he understands boundaries mm -hmm. because he he'll like kill anyone. He'll kill anyone that you know breaks breaks the rules as well. Like it's freedom, but be, be, don't be an asshole about it. Yeah, yeah, consent is perfect. It's very, nice. very much loved Dalen's arseless chaps. Like a hundred percent loved. Actually, I, 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 I loved your reaction to realizing that Krenko was also giving you a voice message as well. I oh, loved Krenko. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that was I love so that. good. Mm -hmm. That was really good. Anyway. Thank you so much for joining us to this afternoon uh, with this collaboration between Split the Party and Roll for Damage. Um, everyone, where can we find you? I'm going to start from Rachel this time. Hello, uh, my name is Rachel Fuka. I'm a writer, actor, and creative trash at large. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Rachel Fuka, and you can find the sci-fi book that I wrote, The Rings of Mars, here on the internet. You can also find me doing uh, various stuff on Roll for Damage. We got a Twitch, we got a YouTube, we got shows like Humblewood and Scales Above and One Shot Wednesdays. Check out all that good streaming shit. Nice. <laughs> All right, Benji. Uh, hi, I'm Benji, and you can catch George, Matt, and I over at Split the Party, where there's heaps of D&D content. We've also got gameplays, reacts. Everything's happening over there. If you want to join us over there as well and help support us there, we have a Patreon, Twitch, and a Discord as well. Um, you can also find me on Instagram and Twitter at BenJack. All <laughs> right, George. Thanks for joining us, guys. My name is George Goldfeder. You can find me at Sir Georgethy on Instagram and Twitter. Same again over on Split the Party. We do a lot of like short, more edited, visually gag funny episodes of Dungeons and Dragons. So yeah, if you like that, you'll love this. If you like this, you'll love that. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably edit this down and give it the old Split the Party edit treatment at some point. So Definitely. keep an eye out in the future. We'll probably have this version of the Water Spark game, but in a more compact format. Please have the ghost soundtrack on the scene from tonight. We might. We, we just might. <laughs> Axel. Hello, my name is Axel. I've had the entire stream to think of a funny joke, and I did not. <laughs> I am an actor, a makeup artist, and D and D nerd here in Perth. You can find me on Instagram at my main account, and then my uh, makeup Instagram. And you can find me here on Roll for Damage, where I'm doing yeah next week for Ravnica, and then the next one shot Wednesday. I'm pretty sure. Awesome, AJ. Hi, I'm AJ Winters. I'm a creative bean on the internet. Uh, you can find me over at Winters Tales, my new channel, where I am doing some world building, where I will build a world slowly and host and DM a game in it later next year. Um, you can also find me on Roll for Damage, producing shows like this one. So yay. Yeah, and I've been your DM. I'm Matt Brown. I, I produce and run the channel over at Split the Party. We uh, have a two other ep uh, shows. One is actually tomorrow. We're talking with members of the D&D community. It's called Good Morning RPG on Twitch. So twitch.tv slash Split the Party TV. We also do our painting stream where we get together and paint some minis. It's the same thing as the Monday show, just with an activity. Um, and mm -hmm. like Ben and George have said, you can check us out, youtube.com slash Split the Party. We've got heaps of stuff in there, heaps of stuff. Um, and you can also hire me. I'm a professional DM. Outside of this, you can find me doing team building events with companies or, you know, just if you have a DM that's a forever DM, you can let him be a player for once and then have me DM. And you can hire me to do that. So dungeonmasterforhire.com.au. Other than that, um, we've got some other role for damage shows on this channel, don't we, before we get a raid going. What are those, Rachel? Uh, yes, well, we've got Scales Above just started up again. We got One Shot Wednesdays. Uh, Humblewood's on a quick little break, but we have Table Talks tomorrow, and then we come back in like two weeks. Uh, AJ, am I missing any? I think I think I got them. This game. This Scales game. Above, this Ravica, one. Humblewood. I think that's what's going on, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One yeah. Shot Wednesdays. All right, mm -hmm. and One Shot Wednesdays. Yeah, we did an Avatar one last week that I think that's on the VODs. That was like... That was fun. That, that was, was so fun. fun. It was, oh, it that was, was like so playing, good. It was like playing through an episode of Avatar. I loved it. So I... Axel and I were on that one. Yes, we had so much fun. Yeah. Oh, my God. All right. It looks like we are also going to raid Dreaded GM today. They are doing a 72-hour charity stream for the Child Starlight Children's Foundation. So... Whenever we're ready to do that, I'm happy to 
to to go on from there. But it looks like we're going to raid pretty shortly. Woo-hoo. So thank you, everyone. We've got one more episode of Ravnica before we 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 call this series quits. And hopefully they can kill Nico Bolas next week. He might even cast Power Word Kill again. We'll find out later. Hey. See you next See week, later, everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs>